Hey everyone, Mike McClary here, along with Dan Ashburn in the background and several other folks from Amazing. Now, one thing I want to do first, I want to take a quick look back on 2020. And while that may make some of you grimace, uh, myself, uh, here's the little thing that makes me realize what 220 was. Pretty much that. It was like the big old poop emoji. I know uh, this is how 2020 looked to a lot of people and for a lot of good reasons. Matter of fact, I mean, this past year, it's been filled with all kinds of news and headlines, uh, which seems like nothing but negative news being shoved down our throats the entire time from COVID uh, to elections to riots to lockdowns in here uh, to a storming of the Capitol. Um, you know, it, just thinking about all these things, even right now, looking at the slide, it actually makes me feel like this little dog right here completely wiped out uh, he's both mentally and physically exhausted uh, and that is i know how a lot of people are feeling this year but over the holidays something real really cool kind of happened uh, my daughter after coming home from christmas break shared a few facts with me that i wanted to share with everyone here to kind of like make you realize that not all is lost uh so not sure if you know this but pollution since covid started has dramatically decreased worldwide uh, that's one great big positive came out of this. Also, the worldwide population of elephants, it more than doubled last year. Uh, other wild creatures like gorillas are having babies on an unprecedented scale. Those are some really cool things as well. When we realized that we had to develop a COVID vaccine, it pushed and made us advance our technology for RNA, this different kinds of vaccine technology, light years ahead where it used to be. So now things like malaria, uh, HIV, influenza, they're all gonna benefit from everything that's been done these past, especially four or five months with a vaccine. And a uh, great thing here as a pet owner, almost every single dog in our shelters here in the United States were adopted during the pandemic because so many people wanted to have pets inside of their homes. So when I think about all the things that kind of like brought a lot of people down, uh, it was great to have Frankie, my daughter, bring up all these positive things that you don't really think about all the time as well. So not all is lost, you know, and especially for all of us in the e-commerce space, like Dan and myself, some really cool things have been happening. One thing that's really cool is something called the quickening. Uh, now for anyone who grew up in the eighties, like me, we are not talking about the movie, The Highlander. Uh, that was a Sean Connery and I think Christopher Lambert. Uh, they experienced something called The Quickening, kind of a cool movie, but definitely very, very fun time. Uh, but we're talking about something called The Quickening in e-commerce. McKinsey, one of the big consulting firms worldwide, they coined this term because in 90 days during the pandemic, we experienced, experienced 10 years of growth when it comes to e-commerce penetration. So that's something that another thing for all of us involved in e-commerce that made us realize, wow, some other amazing things come out of this that have changed the world forever. And one of the companies that's been leading that 10 years worth of growth has been Amazon. If you look at them over the past year, they're always growing every year by billions and billions of dollars. And in 2020, even though the fourth quarter numbers aren't out yet, they by far will not have only surpassed their revenue numbers by billions, but also their profit numbers by billions. And if you're wondering who's selling more, is it all the big companies that are out there that are doing it? It's not just those big companies. It's people just like me, like Dan, like so many people in, am in Amazing, all the people on the screen that I know every single one of them, they're the individual third-party sellers that make up 55% of the sales on Amazon. And Amazon absolutely recognizes growth because over the past few years, they've seen a dramatic increase of all these people wanting to sell on the platform, doing better than Amazon themselves, which caused them to create over 250 new tools and services for people like Dan and myself and all of our different students to learn and, and use in our businesses. These are things like how to list more products easier, how to drive more traffic, how to do things easier with shipping and delivery, uh, all their kinds of you know, inventory management and different ways of getting more traffic and optimizing your listings. They created 250 tools this year, and I believe 2019, they created 225 tools that year as well. They keep delivering more and more things to us to help us be more successful on their platform. Now, that may sound great. You know, you see Amazon's numbers going up. You see me showing you pictures of sales going up for them, but what does it really look like in real life? Here's some real life photos. This is Jay Cammy. He's a student of ours and a friend of mine. And in August of 2020, right in the heat of the pandemic, he announced that he made the Inc. 5000 list of fastest growing companies. Uh, and his business is just selling toys and novelty items. 
Now there's also Devin DeRoche, another student and friend of ours. He actually lives in St. Louis, really close to me. I've seen him a couple times, get to hang out. He made the Inc. 5000 list for the second time in a row, and that was in August as well. And here, this is Charles Livingston along with Matt Clark. Now, Matt is another business partner of mine, co-owner of Amazing.com. And Charles is also someone who works with Amazing.com, does a lot of our marketing. They created their own e-commerce brand, and they made the Inc. 5000 list as well. As a matter of fact, they made some of the fastest growing companies in their state completely. It was an amazing thing that they've done. And I just saw this in our own private Facebook group about 45 minutes ago. One of our members here, Joe's his name, kind of blanked out his last name for privacy. He just announced they had a $50,000 sales month. So in the past 30 days, he's made 50 grand in sales. And this was his, with his third product. Uh, and we have tons of other people that are doing this all the time. I just wanted to find one that's really, really timely. And I don't think 45 minutes ago is, can be more timely than that. Uh, now with all the success that we're seeing, investors out there in the world have really taken notice. Uh, the, the latest article that I saw said that over a billion dollars is being invested in Amazon third-party businesses like mine, like Dan's, like so many others out there. Uh, I wanted to see like, you know, have I been contacted by them? Are they somewhere in all my emails? And lo and behold, I looked at this and I have emails from a company called Thrasio. This is from a guy named Kevin who reached out to me several months ago, wanting to meet up and talk about one of my brands. And then just 13 days ago on January 6th, another company called Razor reached out, wanting to talk about one of my brands as well. And I have dozens of other emails as well. They're just two that I quickly found before this training workshop here to show you that once you build a brand on Amazon, and it does not have to be a huge brand, these companies out there looking to create these huge, we'll call them conglomerates of Amazon businesses, they'll be looking for you. You don't have to reach out to them. I never contacted these people. They reached out to me because they're looking, they see the value in this and they want to invest in small companies so they can build these big companies full of lots of high quality brands. This is something that you can actually do. And what it demonstrates is that not only by building your own brand of products on Amazon, are you building income? You're building an asset something that you'll be able to retire off of should you want to, or just sell like many people that Dan and I personally know, start all over again. Uh, there's something addictive about being able to build a brand, sell it for a couple million dollars. And you think that a lot of people don't go out there and sit on a beach and um, they do that a lot in their free time, but they love doing it and they have the whole process down, they understand it, they do it all over again. And we see that time and time again with the model that you're gonna be learning about today. Which leads me to the question, like, how do you get there? Uh, maybe great that, you know, with all these other people are, are taking advantage of success and everything going on the past year. But in order to do what we can do and we've seen other people do, we're going to show you how to do that today. Because the first thing you need, it's simply a plan. And you're going to get your plan today. We're going to walk you through the entire process. Specifically, Dan is going to walk you through all the steps of finding a product, finding a supplier, launching it, and then scaling it so you'll know exactly what to do. Now, in order to actually take that plan and make it work, you need to take consistent action. Uh, there's this guy I follow called John Maxwell, and he says that small disciplines repeated with consistency every day lead to great achievements gained slowly over time. That means you don't have to go out there and build a million dollar business overnight or in 30 or 60 days. If you just take little consistent actions each and every day, they add up over time. It's almost exponential how much they add up. We've seen in our businesses, one product is great, two products is even greater. But when you start adding more and more products, it's not just incremental, sometimes it's exponential, especially when we're talking about investors looking to buy businesses. A business generating you know, $500,000 may be worth a certain multiplier, but if you double or triple that, the multiplier goes up even more. It's not just this linear curve I'm talking about, is that when you do things consistently, you add products on, you take action every day, you can see much bigger returns on your investments, including your time and your money. And you're gonna learn how to do that today, as a matter of fact. Now, if you haven't figured out yet, the title of this webinar was all about what's that number one habit? It's consistency. And it may sound like a not very exciting thing to talk about in a webinar. I'm not gonna to get too much more in the details of it, but it is a critical thing to think about and to understand that if you can just take little steps every day, you can see big rewards in the future. And I know that because I was there exactly where so many of you were today. I uh, started off graduating from U of I here in Illinois. I got a job at a telecom company in St. Louis. Uh, and then I, had, I was married, had two kids and even two chocolate labs. I think everyone was getting them back in the 90s when I got them. 
But after 20 years, this is exactly where I ended up, in an office. Not a horrible place. There was nothing terrible about the job, but I definitely was stressed all the time. I was traveling a lot. I was working. It felt like all the time. And I didn't feel like I had any way out. Now, that was in, let's see, 2013. Uh, I was a little bit 40 years old, so don't do the math right now, trying to figure out exactly how old I am right now. Um, but by my parents' standards, I was successful. I had that corporate job. They always dreamed that their five kids growing up would have. So by them, I was happy. But to me, I realized that all I had, it was just a job. And it was filled with stress, travel away from the family. I had long hours both at the office and at home. It didn't just end at the office, of course. Uh, I had no pension. Those don't really exist unless I guess you're in government work anymore. And I don't even think I really had any chance of seeing a change coming anytime soon. I was just going to work there, do my corporate job for it seemed like forever. And then in my mid to late 60s, hopefully be able to retire. And all that was keeping away from the one thing that really mattered the most, which was my family. Now, at the very beginning of 2013, I realized that I had to make a change. So I started to try to figure out and find and search out things that would help me make that change. And luckily, I came across someone named Matt Clark. He is the other co-owner and a co-founder of Amazing.com. And he taught me the exact business model that you're going to be learning today that Dan's going to walk you through. And it really did change my life forever. I had a very simple plan from what he taught me. It was just this, work 30 to 60 minutes each and every day when I got home from work. Nothing more than that. And don't get me wrong, um, I didn't always succeed at doing that either. I knew that I just had to do my best at taking time out when I could, after dinner, after the kids went to bed, putting a little bit of time each day, building my business. Now, on May 30th of 2013, I remember this date very well, I made my very first sale. Fast forward to about a year but from that, and I was turning in my notice to my company right there. Uh, and after a month of turning my notice, I had officially quit my corporate job all in less than a year from making that first sale. Now, my last day was April the 4th, 2013, 2014. It fell on a Friday. And I, I don't remember a lot about that date because it was pretty crazy kind of saying goodbye to this job that I feel like I've had forever. Um, but it didn't stick out in my mind that much that day of leaving. What did stick out was the next Monday when I knew that I did not have to wake up and go to this job anymore. To this date, other than getting married or having kids, that was the greatest feeling of my life, to wake up, to know that I never had to go to this job ever again. And I hope so many people, as many people in this webinar right now, are going to get a chance to experience that at some time in the future. Now, since then, I've been able to do a lot of really cool things. I sold over $14 million in products. Uh, I actually sold over $250,000 in a single day, and I did it twice. Uh, those are both purchase orders that I actually sold to Amazon. They bought products directly from me. Uh, since then, I've also been able to speak to over 12,000 people on stage. I'm going to be doing it again next week from Los Angeles at a live virtual event. Uh, and during those events, I was able to share the stage with people like Richard Branson, Robert Kiyosaki, and so many other amazing people as well. Uh, and then I also actually got to host a webinar with Amazon themselves. We got to have a webinar with all of our members and representatives of Amazon showing people how to launch their products over in Amazon. I was able to travel to so many different amazing places and meet so many amazing people. And I was able to help over 30,000 people build their own e-commerce brands, kept, you know, really leveraging the power of Amazon. Now today, I'm here and Dan's here to help you. Now, throughout this webinar, before we show you some more examples, and we're not gonna like throw them in your face, but we'll show you some, uh, it's important to know that Dan and I both own our own active e-commerce businesses and we love doing it. We love teaching people, but like every single business out there, it does involve some risk. And just like a lot of achievements in life, you get out of it what you put into it. And there's no guarantee that you will make money at this. But when you do things right, you could become one of the thousands of everyday ordinary people who've been able to help build their own businesses, leveraging Amazon and starting your brands. And they've done it all by using the same thing that you're going to learn on this webinar right here. Now, by the end of the webinar, here's what you should have. You should know exactly how this business model works. You should know what types of products make the best first product. We'll go deeper into that, but really, Dan's going to show you how to find that first product that's the perfect one. And then he's then going to show you how to take those products and scale it one product at a time into a million dollar brand. 
Now, a few housekeeping tips here. First, the training should take about an hour and a half. We'll try to keep it to that or less. Uh, we are going to reserve some time for Q&A at the end from 30 minutes to an hour. So if you have questions throughout, feel free to ask them. We'll try to answer as many as we can. But if not, we'll try to get to as many as, as we can at the end of it as well. And then as a bonus, at the very end, we're going to give you the link to download your own 20 hot product opportunities that you can launch and sell in 2021. Now that brings me to a good friend of mine and the person who's doing the training here, Dan Ashburn. Uh, at the age of 20, which is crazy, he built his own two and a half million dollar e-commerce store. Uh, he and I met at one of our events and have met up at several other events since then. Uh, he operates multiple businesses. Before this, I think I had the number four in here. He operated four, four businesses, businesses, but he just keeps creating more and more businesses. So I just took the number off and said multiple on here. He manages millions of dollars in Amazon sales each and every day. Uh, he's also the leader of a private invite only mastermind for top Amazon sellers. And he is our go-to person for how to launch and scale businesses on Amazon. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Dan. Dan, welcome to the workshop. Awesome, guys. Right, let's get rolling then. So we've got a lot of ground to cover and I want to make sure that we get you as much of this valuable information as possible. So the spoiler that I'm going to give you right out the gate here. Uh, now, actually, what I'm going to do, Mike, I think I'm going to go ahead and drop the videos just so we can really focus in on the training uh, and make sure the internet's um, keeping up and stuff. So guys, I'm going to drop my video and then we'll bring it back on here at the end shortly. But with that, let's start with the spoiler. So I'm going to cut right to the very end and let you know what to expect. At the end of this training that you will be following, you will learn how to build your own very brand of branded products. So build your own brand of products. That's the goal of today's training. That's what you're going to learn how to build here today. And if you're worried about building an entire brand of products, don't be. A brand is nothing more than a few products that can all be sold to the same people who just have similar interests. So just like these camping accessories that you see right here in front of you, these three products, a camping blanket, an axe, and paracord bracelets, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring up my, uh, my pointer here, paracord bracelets here, combined, currently generate this month in the last 30 days, generates $104,000 in revenue per month, in sales revenue per month. And that number changes depending on the month it is. In December, that was likely twice as much as you'll learn here in a second. But that's over $1.2 million each year in sales from these three products alone. And this is just one example of an unlimited number of brands that you can build leveraging Amazon. This stroller liner, baby swaddle blanket, and wipe warmers generates over $179,000 a month in revenue currently on Amazon.com. That's an amazing, amazing money each year. All these pruning shears, outdoor solar lantern, and herb garden set generates over $129,000 every single month right now on Amazon.com. And having a brand even with just two or three products is enough to have a business that changes your life forever. And that's really what we want to show you here today in this training is how to build that business, how to create these brands and really change the future course of your life financially and in life in general. So if you're still worried about not having enough time or money to create multiple products, you don't have to be at all because it all just starts with one single product. There's absolutely no need to try and launch multiple products all at once. And as a matter of fact, we absolutely do not recommend that you try and do that. We don't want you launching multiple products at once. Just know that your initial focus will be on one product, but not just any old product. It has to be the right product. And that's really the secret to building these brands on Amazon. So if I was building out a new camping brand like this, we'd start with the axe. If we were starting out with a baby brand like this, we'd start with a stroller liner. And in the gardening brand, I'd start with the pruning shears. Now, if you want to know why we'd start with those specific products, then stick around for just a minute and I'm gonna show you exactly how we choose them and how you can choose your own brand and which products you should start with first in building that brand. 
But before we do that, I just wanted to give you a sense of what can be achieved here. Here are some of my brands that I'm involved in. Um, I'm involved in over 20 brands at this point now on Amazon. And as you can see here, the date range is the 1st of December to the 31st of December. And in this brand, this, this one brand here, we generated $520,000 in December, just gone in revenue on Amazon. In this sep another brand here, completely separate brand, $450,000 in that same month. Another brand, $359,000, almost $360,000 there in a month on Amazon. And another brand here, completely separate brand, $414,000 or $415,000 in sales revenue in just one month on Amazon. Now, you might just be, you might be sat there thinking, well, Dan, that's great. You're an expert. You know what you're doing. You've been doing this a long time. But here are some of the results of our community who are brand new to this business and building out this business model and everything we're about to show you here today. So you can see this member generating $40,000 or $39,000 in that time period. Another member here, $18,000. Um, in a single day there, that was actually a single day's worth of sales, $18,000. The date range here, um, another day, $123,000. And this was um, recently on a, over the, the sort of prime days uh, and Black Friday and stuff. We've got another one here um, in October doing $56,000 in two days without any types of promotions. And then members just starting out who are generating $3,000 in their first 10 days of launching their product or earning their $25,000 a month badge very soon after implementing and launching their product. And these results are typical within the community that we have. So you might be thinking, well, why Amazon? We need to quickly talk about sort of why Mike and I and every other million dollar seller that we know and we've trained all start their business on Amazon. And really it comes down to three main reasons. The first reason and the obvious reason is that Amazon brings you customers. You don't have to go out there and find your own customers because the customers are already heading to Amazon and are already shopping on Amazon. With the pandemic and everything that's happened through 2020 and now into 2021, the surging demand on Amazon has grown substantially and the amount of shoppers heading to Amazon for everyday shopping behavior because our habits as consumers have changed is increasing week on week, month on month, and is not slowing down. Now, in addition to that, Amazon also takes care of hosting essentially your website. So if you're thinking about doing this yourself, you have to build a website, you have to go and put that website on the internet, you have to go and try and find customers to come to that website. With Amazon, we don't have to do any of that. And all of your products is hosted on Amazon's website, which essentially becomes your storefront. And the best reason and the third reason that we all go to Amazon is whereas normally there'd be complicated logistics involved and you have to have space to store your products and then you need to get facilities in place to pick and pack and ship those products and handle all the returns, Amazon ships all of your products for you and you don't have to deal with any of that stuff. You simply sit and sell those products on Amazon and Amazon does all of the other hard work for you. So basically, it's because Amazon does a lot so that you only have to do a little bit of the work. And let me show you exactly what that means. When you look at the business model, you'll be learning. At the top of it is you. That's you and your brand of products. And your job is to find a product and build your own brand that you can grow, turn into cash, and really a cash producing machine and eventually sell for a significant amount of money, as Mike just demonstrated there. The amount of money coming into this market, buying up Amazon's brands is mind-blowing. And those that get in now are going to do very, very well out of that. The next part of the business are your customers. And there's over 200 million customers shopping on Amazon every single month right now um, on the platform. Now, you're going to learn how to find a supplier, and that's the third element of this. It's the supplier's job to make the products for you and send them to Amazon. And then finally, at the center of all this is Amazon itself, who takes care of absolutely everything else, such as receiving and storing your product, collecting customer payments, pick, they pick your product from their warehouse, uh, they pack them and they ship them in boxes, they ship them to your customers, they handle all of those product returns, which is inevitable when sort of selling physical products. They handle most of the customer service. You just have to do a little bit of that. 
And then best of all, they pay you directly via direct deposit into your bank account, typically every two weeks, and then run some advertising for you on the platform to generate those orders. Now, even though you'll be starting your business on Amazon, at any point in the future, you can expand your business into other areas such as retail or your own website. And everything else you've built from your products to your brand, your customers and your suppliers will all be the exact same, which makes this a great business to expand in the future. But start on Amazon where the customers are already shopping is kind of like going fishing in a pond that you know is full of fish. So on this webinar, we're going to go through a five step plan. And the first step, step one of this plan is to plan your roadmap and how you're going to achieve this brand of products. Once you've done that, step two is to choose your first product because we need to choose a very specific first product to get started with. Step three is to then go and source it, which means finding a manufacturer somewhere like China to produce that product for you. Step four is to launch that product and make it visible on Amazon so people find it and purchase it. And step five is to multiply your sales and your profits by simply repeating this process. So within step one, we need to plan your roadmap. Now, to really understand the simplicity of this, your brand is your roadmap. So here at the end of the map is a brand made up of these three products selling every single day on Amazon, but you don't start with all three. In the first six months, the goal is to launch your first product. And once you've started making sales and profits, the next stop on your roadmap is to launch product number two. Typically, this would be somewhere between month seven and nine. And then once both of those products are selling and bringing in good profit, that's when you launch your third product of your brand. And that's how you build a multi-million dollar brand and business that produces millions of dollars in revenue every year hundreds of thousands in profits, and when you're ready, can be sold for millions of dollars into your bank account. So you just need to find three products to make up your brand. That's as simple as this really is. Now, luckily, Amazon sells over 350 million products. So there is a lot of choice to choose from, but there are very specific choices that we want to make with that. So the process to finding these products, and this part you want to definitely write down, so write this piece down. Step one is to write down a few interests or activities that you're interested in. Maybe it's something you're passionate about now, or you've been passionate about before, you've really been interested before, and you know a lot about that interest or that activity. Step two, you're going to search for relevant physical products, and we'll walk through exactly what that looks like here in a second. And then step three, we need to choose three of those products to make up your brand. And ideally, they complement each other and they serve the same audience. So the, the ideal sort of customer you're going after would buy all three of those products. So quite simple, a very simple process here. And I want you to sort of work, work alongside this and do this live with me. I want you to go ahead and take a think about the types of interests that you have. So hiking, maybe cooking, camping, Babies, maybe, I mean, I have two young children myself, Alfie and Austin, two and five. I've built a brand around those before. Um, yoga, pets, fitness, CrossFit, boxing, cycling. What interest do you have? Maybe it's art or painting. And then I want you to pair that up with a search phrase that shows intent to purchase. So gear, accessories, tools, gadgets, stuff, gifts. These are all buying words that shoppers and yourself included will enter into Amazon on an almost daily basis. So when you combine any one, any two of these, so hiking gear, cooking accessories, camping stuff, yoga gifts, you're going to produce some very good results on Amazon that you can start to look for product um, ideas and three products within. So as the example shows here, hiking gear, you can see a load of really good results um, from these paracords to these survival kits that are really good products that make up a brand or cooking gadgets. And you can see all these examples of cooking gadgets that you could release within a brand of cooking products or baby accessories. And as you can see here, some of the demonstrations I showed just earlier, you can see these mirrors and these swaddle blankets that really would make up a nice brand of baby products. 
So write down a few interests or activities, search for those relevant physical products on Amazon, and then choose three of them to make up your brand. Now you may be thinking with all of these different products that are shown here and the different options available to me, which three should I choose to make up the brand of products that I want to sell? So when it comes to choosing your three products, you're gonna choose three different types of product. The first is your starter product. The second is your growth product. And the third will be your dream product. And I'm gonna explain exactly what this means here in a second, but you're gonna pick a starter product, a growth product, and a dream product. So when looking for baby's accessories, I'm gonna show you how to cheat essentially using a really simple tool that we like so much as a company, we actually went and invested in this company because we like this tool so much. So when searching Amazon for something like baby accessories or camping gear, you're gonna be presented with a number of different product results. If you go ahead and install a tool called Manage by Stats Retriever, which is a Chrome extension, so you need to be using the Google Chrome internet browser to use this, and it's completely free, you just Google it, uh, click the install button, and it will walk you through how to use that. When you're on those search results, what Managed by Stats or MBS Retriever is going to do, let's make sure my pointer's working here, so I want to make sure I can see this. So what MBS Retriever is gonna do is it's gonna give us the, the link to the product and the title, that's fine. It's gonna give us the unique identifier that known as an ASIN that Amazon uses to identify the product, that's great. It's gonna tell us the brand name, so you can see here like different brand names. It's gonna tell us the price. Now we can see the price anyway, but what it's also gonna tell us that you can't see publicly on Amazon is exactly how much revenue that product is generating in the last 30 days. So you can see here, this top one here, this uh, top product has generated $47,000 in the last 30 days. Or that swaddle blanket that we were looking at, $68,000 in a single 30 day period on the last 30 days. So using this information, as well as looking at how many reviews that product has, we can start to make decisions on which products we're gonna use as our starter products, which one we're gonna choose as our growth product, and which one we're gonna choose as our dream product. So that's MBS Retriever, make a note of that. So when it comes to picking the starter product, we want to be looking for a price between $17 and $100. And this is really important because anything less than $17, there's not going to be enough profit to cover all the costs involved in selling on Amazon. And anything over $100, the cost of that product is probably going to be too expensive to purchase uh, and buy to sell. We then want to be looking for revenue over $10,000, and I'll explain why here in a second, but under $50,000. And finally, we want to be looking for products with reviews of less than a thousand reviews. Uh, we don't see any more than that as we're starting to then get into products that are a bit too competitive to be a starter product. For our growth product, we're still looking for 17 to hundred dollars, but now we're looking for revenue opportunity of between 50 and a hundred thousand dollars in revenue. So when we launch our growth products, we know we can, we can grow that product and we can start to earn between 50 and 100,000 in revenue. And then finally, our dream product, again, 17 to $100, because that's the sweet spot on the price point that we want to go after. But now we're going to start to look for revenue opportunities where those products are doing more than $100,000 a month. And the reason we want to do this is our starter product is going to be our first product obviously. And it's going to also be the first time that you're launching a product on Amazon. So we really want to find those less competitive products as I walk through here in a second. And then as we gain more experience and we earn more profit, we can then invest into more competitive products that have more profit potential. So if you look at these sets of three products here, baby accessories, and then look at the data, we have the um, wipe warmer, at a price of $25, so over that $17 point. 
Uh, and then I actually pulled this data today. So this is accurate as of um, today in January. And this these will be higher in certain months like December and shopping holidays, etc. But January, which is typically a low shopping month because Christmas has just happened and the holidays have just happened, you can see that white warmer is currently doing around $112,000 per month in revenue. So definitely one of those dream products. We've got the infant snug set, um, which is down at $49.99, almost $50. And it's currently at around $32,000 in revenue. In December, this was doing um, more like $55,000 in revenue uh, with Christmas. And then finally, the unisex infant swaddle blanket, a nice $23 price point, and again, $34,000 in revenue. Now looking at this, that's $179,000 per month, or amazing $2.1 million dollars per year in revenue from just these three products. So now we've identified the three products we're going to go after that fit within our criteria. The next step, and that's step two, is to choose your first product. And this is where we really have to think about budget and also competition. Because your first product is going to be your starter product. And this is really important to understand. You're probably thinking, well, dirt, of course it is, Dan. It's, of course it's my first product. What do you keep going on about? The reason I keep mentioning this, and it's so important, is there are three critical elements of your first product. We want that starter product to have low competition. So we're looking for less than 1,000 reviews. We want the revenue to be less than 50,000, so it's not too competitive, and there's not too much sales volume and too high a level that we need to compete with. But we do want to see enough demand to make it worth our time and worth our while, which is why we have that minimum revenue of 10,000. So we know that we can grow and launch that product and enter the market at a healthy five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 a month, and then start growing the sales on that product more up towards the 50,000 mark with not too many reviews to compete with. And because this is our starter product, this is going to be the first product that we sort of get our feet wet on Amazon. We're going to understand the process. We're going to gain experience. And then we carry that experience through into our second and third products. And with all this, even with our startup product, we need to ensure there is good profit potential, which is coming up in the next step. And the reason we need good profit potential is that is the whole point of building this business, to generate profits, to give us that freedom in life, to quit our jobs, to create profit that's worth something one day that we can sell the business for. So we definitely want to see good profit potential in the business. So when we talk about profit potential, this product here sells for $49.99. Now, we know from looking at MBS Retriever that it sells on average around 525 units per month. And like I say, that will fluctuate depending on what time of year it is. Now, looking at the product cost, that's $8.80. And I've added $2 for shipping inside of that cost. So there's $2 uh, for shipping um, over from China included in that cost. At this price point, Amazon tells us using something called the Amazon FBA revenue calculator, which you can go to Google and you literally just Google Amazon fee calculator. Amazon tells us that they will charge us $19.56 in Amazon fees to store the product, to ship the product and their commission that they take on sale, which means the monthly profit on this product after all those costs of buying the product, shipping it into Amazon, Amazon taking their fees for storing and posting or shipping, and um, also their commission, that would leave us a monthly profit on this product of $10,836 from just one product. So that monthly profit, if you then equate that over 12 months, that's $120,000, $123,000 in annual profit as a result of this single product on Amazon that we're selling at a price point of $49. So now we've identified the profit potential and we've used Amazon's fee calculator, which you can Google and find very easily. Step three is to go ahead and source it. So you might be thinking, well, how do I know this product costs $8.80, including shipping? When it comes to sourcing the product, there is a fantastic website called alibaba.com which is essentially an online directory of factories in countries like China, India, Vietnam, um, China primarily, and that's where most of these products are going to be produced. And as you can see at the top of the page here, 
we've entered the search term stroller liner because that's the product that I'm looking for. And then when it comes to finding a supplier, you can see when I search for these results, you can see there are 100, 1,161 different suppliers and for this one single product. And all you need to do is scroll through this list and find one that looks the closest to the product that you want to sell. So that product that you found on Amazon that you'd really like the look of and you want to sell it, you need to find one that looks closest to that and then check out the prices that they will charge for them. So you can kind of see right here that we have one supplier willing to sell their stroller liner from anywhere from $5.80 to $6.80. And they'll even let you order as few as one of them to check them out. So you can see that one piece minimum order just to sort of check out the quality and make sure that you like it. Now, once you find one that you think looks promising, you'll want to contact the suppliers right there on the site. So you just click onto the listing uh, and click contact supplier and ask them for a quote, at however many you'll be looking to start off with and let them know that you also want to include some basic packaging for each product. And with that, they're going to then give you a price for that product. And you're gonna get that information back to be able to factor into the profit calculation and drop into the Amazon fee calculator. Now, if you're looking for something that goes on or in your body, which is kind of the easiest way to think about this. Another way of finding suppliers, which you're typically going to look for locally. So in the United States, selling on amazon.com, which is the sort of biggest and the best marketplace for Amazon, you would go to Google and you'd search something like private label collagen powder. So that's definitely a product um, that you'd want to source locally if it goes in or on your body. So think of beauty creams or vitamins and supplements as the main type of products that you would want to search for inside of the US. And then all you do is you type that product with the words private label, either before and after, and Google will show you tens of thousands of results. You can see here there's 815,000 results uh, for the search private label collagen powder. And then you simply do the same process. You contact those suppliers, those manufacturers, and get pricing on that product. So this is what the um, Amazon fee calculator looks like. Once you've gotten quotes from Alibaba or Google, you can simply use that information to estimate how much profit you can make off each product you sell. So to do this, we have a tool called the Amazon FBA Revenue Calculator. I've mentioned it a couple of times now. And you can find that with a simple Google search as well. When you pull it up, you enter the product you are looking to sell. And then you put in two pieces of information. So you first want to put in the price that you'll be selling at. You can see here the $49.99. And then you want to put in the cost of the product. So now, even though we found this for between 580 and 680, uh, just a minute ago on Alibaba, I'm going to assume we get the higher price of $6.80. And you can see also I've added in $2 each for shipping, which is a good average right now to use for shipping. And once we do that, Amazon gives us the exact profit down here at the bottom. Let's make sure you can see that. Um, that you can expect to make off every single sale that you make on Amazon. So in this situation, it's almost 41% profit or $20 for each unit that you sell. For every single unit that you sell, you're making $20 in profit. So with that, here's some really important tips. You only want to sell high quality products. This is really important when it comes to Amazon uh, and should be really important to you as a brand owner anyway for the, for the benefit of your customers. But with Amazon reviews and everything that happens on Amazon, high quality products is absolutely a must. With happy customers come more sales. I can't stress that enough. Through better customer service and good quality products comes more sales as a result of those reviews and more orders. You want to create and own the brands. So you're not looking to sell someone else's brand on Amazon. You are going to create your own brand and sell that on Amazon. And here's an example of what that looks like. So you can see here, we have um, these sort of phone car mounts. Um, they, they sit on the vents. And you can see they all kind of look the same. But what you'll notice is each one of them has their own brand or their own logo on that product. So you've got this one here, you've got this whiz gear, and then you've got the Vava here. So if you look at the baby line, you'll see it's, it's exactly the same. On Alibaba, we found a product that looks like this, and then we work with our supplier of manufacturer in China to add our logo onto that product. And the reason we want to do that is that gives us full control on Amazon and means all of the sales for this product come to us 
And we're not competing for those sales with other sellers selling the same brand because it's our brand that we own and we're the only people that are allowed to sell that brand, meaning we get 100% of those sales from Amazon. So you may be thinking, well, Dan, how do I create a brand? What's the, what's the quick way of creating a brand? And here's a very simple process for creating that brand. Step one, you want to think of potential brand names for your market. I really like thinking of brand names that sort of talk to the desired outcome that they want. So think about words and think about language that your customer uses and think of a really simple brand name that just sort of describes your market. From there, you want to go ahead and check for .com domains and trademarks in the USA. Uh, for domains, you can use websites like godaddy.com or namecheap.com. And for literally a dollar or two, you can pick up a .com domain name. And then for trademarks, if you just Google US trademark search, there's a, a government website where you can enter that, that name and just quickly check that no one owns the trademark on that name. Step three, you're going to go ahead and create a logo. Um, now, the cheapest place to get that done is a website called fiverr.com. And for literally $20 or $30 or so, you can have a really professional looking logo created. Or if you want to spend a, a couple hundred dollars, a few hundred dollars and work with more professional designers, you can head over to 99designs.com. That's what I use. And you will literally get hundreds of designs um, as it's more of a contest website. So when you create that um, logo request, Lots of different designers will give you submissions and that will cost a couple of hundred dollars over at 99designs.com. From there, you want to get packaging designed. And on your first product, your, your factory, your manufacturer over in China can actually do this for you. And that would usually be free. So you can go ahead and just get some simple packaging designed by your manufacturer. And you may be thinking, well, why would people buy from you? Um, you may be sort of worried that people won't buy your brand. Now, you don't need to be unless you're Apple. People aren't tied to brands. They buy what they see on Amazon and they're going to show you, and we're going to show you how to be seen. If you think about the last time you purchased a product on Amazon, which was likely very recently, when did you consider the brand that you were buying unless you were looking for that brand specifically like Apple or like something like that or Samsung? Unless you're looking for a specific brand, if you're just searching for an everyday product on Amazon, you're not considering the brand, you're looking at the price, you're looking at the reviews, and you're buying the products that come up on Amazon and are presented to you. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about how to get seen. But before we do that, I want to answer this question that comes up quite often, where most people are thinking, well, how much inventory should I order for my first product? And it's a really good question. You ideally want to start with anywhere from two to 300 units to start if possible. That would be a target of around 10 units per day for 30 days over a month period. So, and typically you want to be aiming for smaller, lighter products to get going on your starter products that cost anywhere from five to $10 with your shipping and everything included. That would make your inventory cost anywhere from one to $3,000, depending on the cost of the product and how many units you order. And this should include your packaging, your labeling, and your shipping to Amazon, which we had here at $2, as we just said. Doing this will avoid a big mistake that we see a lot of brand new um, brand owners and sellers on Amazon making. And that's entering into too much risk and ordering too much inventory. When going after that starter product, we want to test that product. We want to test the process and then start placing larger orders as we start generating sales. So now we've picked that first product and we've sourced it. It's now time to launch your first product. And this is where it gets really exciting. and We start seeing sales being generated on Amazon. So after you've chosen your product and gotten it ready for sale on Amazon, you've worked with your supplier and it's on its way. You now need to get your product to show up for sale on Amazon because having just having on Amazon isn't quite enough. We need to get it to show up in the search results when shoppers are looking for the product that you sell. So imagine I want to buy some taco holders for the family. I go over to Amazon and I search for taco holders and I hit the return button on my keyboard. I'm showing a dozen, if not hundreds of different taco holders, as you can see in this picture here, right in front of you. But if your product isn't showing up on this list, then the chances are I'm not gonna buy your product because I don't even know it exists. So how do you make your product show up before all of the other products 
and hundreds of similar items? Well, we do that with our proven launch and rank formula. So step one is you need to discover the best search terms for your products. And the search terms are what the shoppers are entering into the Amazon search bar. Step two, we're going to create a powerful product listing that when someone does click on our Amazon listing, we turn them into a customer. Step three, we're going to use those same search terms in advertising. And then step four, we're going to drive targeted sales with something that we call cashback offers. And I'll explain each one of these steps here in detail. So in order to show everyone on this webinar how this works, we actually went ahead and sourced and launched and even sold out of our own new products. And these are an actual set of tackle holders that we created and launched on Amazon. And now both myself, Mike, Matt, we all use them in our homes. Um, and it's become a bit of sort of a running joke internally because we have these taco holders all over the place. These are our taco holders, the Verve Kitchen taco holders set of four. And this product we created um, sort of the middle to end of last year and launched them live on Amazon. So step one, if you search for competitors to start finding search terms. So you can see here, I would look for in Amazon for taco holders. And then if we look at the results that show up, what you'll see in this sort of titles here, you'll see tacker holder set of four, tacker holder, tacker holder stainless steel. And we start to get an idea of what our competitors, are, what search terms our competitors are using within their Amazon listings. So in the titles, but not only in the titles, also what's showing up in their bullet points. So you can see here when you click onto an Amazon listing, these are known as the bullet points or the bullets. And you can see taco stands, stainless steel taco holders, stain, uh, taco shell holders. And we can start to get a really good idea of what our competitors are using within their product listings to generate that visibility and generate those orders. And you'll see them showing up throughout all of their product listings. In addition to that, if you scroll down to the bottom of the product listing, down by the review section, Amazon has this really handy section that says uh, reviews that mention and then it pulls out common phrases that everyday shoppers are mentioning in their reviews. And this is a really good source of search terms also. And just reading through the reviews as well is a good way of seeing what language and what search terms that shoppers are using. So a pro tip, and you definitely want to write this one down. The longer the search term is, the easier it is to rank. And by rank, I mean the easier it is to get that product to show up when someone searches for that search term. And that's the aim of the game here. We want our products to show up on page one of Amazon when someone searches specific search terms that we are targeting. So in this instance, you can see here, what Amazon actually does is suggest a number of different search terms based on what shoppers are searching every single day. So you can see taco holder. And right here, you can see the search term taco holder, stainless steel, set of four. And you can see it's a longer search term and it has a lot more specific intent behind that search term. So not only will more people click your product if you had a stainless steel set of four, more people will buy because it's the exact thing they're looking for. And these longer search terms are a lot easier to rank for on Amazon and is where we focus our efforts, especially when beginning with our starter products. So once you have completed your keyword research, you've looked at all your competitors listings, you've pulled out those sort of search terms and those keywords from the titles and the bullet points, and you've looked at what Amazon's suggesting, we now need to go ahead on to step two in creating a powerful product listing. So we've already discovered the best search terms for the product. Now we're going to create that powerful product listing. And when doing that, this, the really important step here to make us our products show up is to put your main keyword near the beginning of your title. This is how Amazon knows sort of which the key, what keyword is most important to you, which keyword you want to be indexed and showing up for in the search results. And Amazon definitely gives the keyword at the start of the title the most weight when they're sort of considering who to show up in the results. So you want to put your main keyword near the start of the title. So you can see here, taco holder stainless steel set of four. And if I just go ahead and show you here, we can see we entered taco holder stainless steel set of four as the main keyword at the start of our title. You also then want to go ahead and include other keywords in your bullets, 
your description, and focus on the benefits of your products when writing that product listing. Yes, the features of all the, the gadgets and the widgets that it's have are important, but just talk about the benefits to the user, the benefit to the shopper that's going to be buying and using your products. What's the benefit of your product to them? So you can see here, like no more messy tacos, no sharp edges, restaurant grades, uh, more time eating, less time cleaning, uh, more cupboard space. And then we went on to make a promise to them. So you can see how it's very benefit driven sort of um, copy that we're using within our within our bullet points. And this is going to lead to more people purchasing your products over your competitors. In addition to that, it's really important to create high quality images, including lifestyle photos of your product being used. You want your shopper to sort of see themselves in their environment using that product. And we understood that with Tucker Holders, it's a very family environment. That's why people are buying a pack of four and sort of creating that image of family time around the table with your kids, eating and enjoying a set or eating and enjoying tacos that you've made. Now, when you first launch these products, it's important to quickly get five to 10 reviews. And the quicker you get these reviews, uh, the easier you're going to find it to make sales because people trust reviews on Amazon. And friends are still the um, easiest option for getting those reviews. So you can have your friend go ahead and order it from their house, from their mobile phone, from their internet connection, or to that product, um, and go ahead and leave your review once they receive that product. And then Amazon, one of those tools that, Am uh, that Mike mentioned at the beginning of this, some 200 tools that Amazon's been releasing recently, one of them is a very powerful tool called the request a review button. And what this does is after five days of it being dispatched, so the, the, the shopper has to have received it, but after five days, you can click this button and Amazon will send that shopper an email requesting that they leave a review for your product. And because it's coming from Amazon officially, um, your shoppers, your buyers really trust that email. And there's a very high percentage of people now that go ahead and will leave you an Amazon review. So the more times you click this button, the more orders you generate, the more reviews you get, the more proof you're generating on your listing and the more powerful that listing is. So once you've sort of done that, the summary really is to put your primary search term in the title. You want to put the other search terms in your bullets and your description. Focus on the benefits of your product to the shopper, not just what it includes. And then go ahead and get high quality images, including lifestyle photos to, to make this, the, the shopper visualize them using your product. And then quickly work on getting five to 10 reviews from friends. Um, it's really as simple as that in terms of creating that powerful listing that's gonna convert those people that look at your listing into buyers. So that's how we create a powerful product listing. The next step and step three is to use those same search terms in advertising. So Amazon has an advertising platform on Amazon. It's in a very powerful way when launching your product to essentially pay for people to see your products when they search for specific terms. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and click sponsored products. That's the type of advertising that we're going to want to use. We're going to give our campaign a name. We're going to set the daily budget and you only need to start with a low daily budget. And we're going to go ahead and say manual targeting. Now, manual targeting means that we're going to tell Amazon exactly which search terms or which keywords we want to target. So we'll go ahead and click add on our product. And from here, we're going to type in that main keyword, taco holder. And then we're going to click add all keywords in list. And we're going to add all of the relevant keywords that Amazon suggests that we target. And we'll just remove anything that's not relevant, like dinosaur or anything like that that's, that's definitely not relevant to our product. And that will add and include all of those keywords inside of this advertising campaign. And you also want to go ahead and use all of those uh, search terms that Amazon has suggested. Make sure you include those in your listing as well, because you definitely want to have the same keywords that you're targeting in your advertising in your uh, listing as well, because it's gonna help with converting more shoppers. And it also helps Amazon's system, the, the, the algorithm behind Amazon understand your listing better. So now that we've got the search terms in our advertising, we've started showing our product up by the Amazon ads. Finally, it's time to drive targeted sales with cashback offers. Now, this really is somewhat top secret and is known by top Amazon sellers generating millions of dollars. As you could see, many of the brands I'm involved in doing 
$500,000 in a single month. This is exactly how we launch products on Amazon and how we quickly get onto page one. So you may be thinking, well, what are cashback offers? It's quite simple. You offer your customers a 100% product rebate, which is giving them the, the money back in exchange for purchasing your product on Amazon. Now, this is not to ask them to review your product. That's really important. We're not asking for a review within this process. This is simply to help you promote the launch of your product. And it's been used in retail for years. So if you think about these coupons that you will receive when you go to the supermarket, places like Walmart or Target, uh, and you see these coupons that you can earn for, for shopping at Walmart, or maybe um, the good old days of events where you'd see these energy companies giving out free products to raise awareness of that product and create more buying around that product. Um, this has been used in retail for years, and all we're doing is applying it to the online shopping environment. The more sales that we generate in the beginning, the more that Amazon sees our product is relevant for those search terms, and the faster we're going to appear on page one. But the secret to making this effective, and this, po this point is really important, is asking your customers to first search for the product before buying it. So we want them to go ahead and search for Taka Holder Stainless Steel Set of Four before they click that Add to Cart button and before they click that Checkout button. Because doing this helps Amazon know exactly what keywords to better show your product for. Now you may be thinking, well, I don't have a massive group of friends or where do I find people that would do this? Facebook is an amazing place to go ahead and get these um, rebates, these buyers that are willing to go ahead and purchase your products. And all you simply need to do is something like Mike did here, as an example, just post on Amazon, something like, hey, everyone, I've decided to build and start a brand new business. I've launched my very own brand of products on Amazon. I'd really like you to help me launch and test it. I'll even pay for the order myself if you'd be willing to help me out. Just comment below and shoot me a message and I'll give you the details. So within Facebook Messenger, you talk to that person um, and show them, hey, can you go to Amazon? Search for this keyword, as I'll show you here in a second, and make that purchase, and I'll send you the money back. Facebook groups are also a great place for this. So because we're doing this based on interests, if you're into cycling, there's definitely local cycling Facebook groups. And the best, the best thing about using the Facebook groups is these are your target customers. The feedback that you get from those target customers is invaluable in improving the quality of your product. And it's also going to generate awareness within that group and generate you more orders. So when you start to get interest in your offer, all you simply then do is send them a Facebook message that looks something like this. And you can see here, I said, hi, Mike, so excited for you to try my new product. Please complete the following, go to amazon.com, search for tacker holder stainless steel set of four, see how I'm specifically telling them the keyword I want them to search, find my product, picture attached, order it, and I can send you the money here in Facebook, it's really easy, or give me your PayPal and I'll send you the money there. Can't wait for you to get it. And Venmo is also a great uh, medium in, in the US as well. And for those that don't know this, you can actually send money through Facebook Messenger very easily. You just click this little icon, the dollar icon, you add in your, your credit card, um, your friend adds in their credit card, and that money is transferred from you to them very easily and very seamlessly. And it's all done uh, within Facebook, which is definitely trusted. So you want to go ahead and do this five times a day for your main keyword until your product appears on page one. And then you simply move on to the next keyword. And it really is that simple. Now we have a fancy tool where we don't have to go to Facebook. We've got a few thousand buyers um, that we can literally, in the click of a button, we can put a product live and generate these rebates overnight. Um, but Facebook is a very, very good place to do that. And that is step four of our launch and rank formula, which is responsible for millions of dollars in sales on Amazon because it just gets that product to show up very quickly on Amazon when shoppers are searching for it. So you may be sat here going, does this work? So if you take a look at Taco Holder Stainless Steel, this was a screenshot from earlier in the year. You can see on the right-hand side there, we have our Verve Kitchen Taco Holders with only nine reviews. So you can see very... Um, we, within the first couple of weeks here, just starting out. The first result here is one of the adverts and you can see that it says sponsored. The second one is an advert and then position one, two, and then position three was our tacker holders 
sat there for ten, tucker holder stainless steel set of four. And it wasn't only this keyword that we ranked this product for. You can see we were able to rank a number of other keywords in positions one, one, three, seven, four, all within the top page one of results on Amazon, generating orders every single day. And in this period, you can see we generated $5,000 in product orders before we ran out of stock and sold out of that product uh, within a, literally a few days of, of having launched that product on Amazon. Now, the tucker holders, um, we were selling them at $22. It cost us $1.60 to ship them to Amazon. And the cost of the products was $5.57, which meant we had a 27% profit margin or $6 per unit. Now, we very quickly got to around 30 units per day without, before we ran out of inventory. So we were selling 30 units per day, 30 tacker holders a day, uh, which made it 900 units per month. So 30 times 30, 900 units per month, generating a monthly revenue of just shy of $20,000, $19,800. Now, based on a 27% profit margin, that's $5,463 in profit from a set of tucker holders that we launched and sold out of inventory in just a few weeks. That's an annual gross profit of $65,000 from a single set of tucker holders that we launched on Amazon. So with this, I'm really interested to see how you like in the training so far. I'm conscious we don't have the chat box here and I don't want to clog up the Q&A, but if you have any profound sort of feedback or anything um, that you'd like to share with me, please go ahead and do that in the chat box. I'm going to look for those um, because we really, really do um, care about the training that we put out here. And we really want to know whether you love it, whether you hate it, or you're indifferent, because we're constantly looking to improve everything we teach uh, for the best results possible. So if you could just let me know in the Q&A box, let me know how you're feeling about this. I'm getting, I can't believe this is free. Thank you. Great. I thought Amazon, um, I'm just reading through the comments here. Great training. Absolutely fab. You're a pro. Love it. I'm really enjoying this webinar. Very informative. Thank you from London. That was Jay. Love the training so far. Gained so much. That was Mary. Um, Mino, we've got Koi. I'm truly loving this. Farron, this is great stuff. Valerie, this is great. Um, Catherine, love this. Thank you. Um, it's a good training. Very detailed. Bob in Canada, this is great. Ashad calling me Superman. I'll take that, Mike. Um, we have Michelle saying, very informative, Vancouver. Toya saying, loving it. Thank you guys for sharing that. I know we just clogged up the, the Q&A box there, but it's really, really uh, powerful and really important to get that feedback. So thank you. Um, and thank you so much. That's exactly the type of feedback we love getting. So let's dive back into the training. So, so far, step one was planning your roadmap, which means focusing on creating that brand of three products and focusing that based on your interests. So when that, what that looks like at the end of the map is a brand made up of three products selling every day on Amazon, but you don't need to start with all three, as you know. In the first six months, your goal is to launch the first product. And once you've started making sales and profits, the next stop on your roadmap is to launch product number two. And then as we progress, launch product number three, once we've generated profits from the first two products to pay for that third product. And this is how you build a multi-million dollar brand and business. Step two, you're then gonna go ahead and choose your first product. And we covered the three critical elements of that first product, which are low competition, enough demand, and good profit potential. And we walked through exactly how to calculate that profit potential and what that monthly profit looks like using the Amazon fee calculator. Step three, we walk through how to source that product, which means going to alibaba.com, entering the name of that product, looking for a similar product, and then contacting suppliers to get pricing. And step four is launching your first product, which means discovering the best search terms that your competitors are using in their titles and their bullet points, creating a really powerful product listing by entering that main search term at the start of the title, communicating the benefits of the product, using really high quality images and lifestyle images to sort of represent that and quickly get in five to 10 reviews when you first start from friends. We're gonna then use those same search terms in our advertising, start generating um, some visits to the listing and start putting our, making our products show up. And finally, the secret sauce, 
driving targeted sales with cashback offers that we also call rebates, where we ask people to search for a specific keyword, our main keyword, purchase the product, and we will send the money for that purchase back to them. And you simply do that five times a day until that keyword is showing up on Amazon. And then you swap out that keyword and do it again. So step five really comes down to multiplying your sales and your profits and ultimately following your roadmap. So you start with that first product, you then release that second and then that third. Or maybe it's a baby brand where you release that first product, that second and that third. Or maybe it's a gardening brand with starting out with some pruning shears and heading into these other two products. You start with the least competitive product with the goal of selling around 10 units per day. And that's your entry point, your starter product. You're only targeting 10 units per day. And you can see with the TACA holders, we got to 30 units very, very quickly. So if you follow this training, this should happen within six months. And once you are selling 10 units per day, you use the profits from your first product to start your second one. And that's really key. That's the compounding effect within this business. And the goal, the goal with all of this is within six to nine months, once the second product is selling around 30 units per day, you use the profits from both of the first products, so first products and second products, use the profits from those first two products to start your third product. So if we look at it like this, six months in, you've got your first product, your starter product, doing 10 sales per day. Nine months in, you've got your second product, your growth product, doing 30 sales per day. And by 12 months in, you've got your third product doing 60 sales per day. Now, if we total that up, that's a total of 100 sales per day across those three products within your brand. So if we take 100, we times it by 365 days in the year, and we times that by an average value of 30 or an average price of $30, that's just over $1 million a year in revenue from just three products on Amazon. And if you take that at an average 25% profit margin, that's over $250,000 in annual profit from having the um, products on Amazon. Physical product businesses can be sold for anywhere from three to five times their annual profits. As Mike was explaining in the beginning, a lot of big money is now coming into this market and buying up everyday people's businesses like me, like Mike. Mike's getting these offers almost weekly in his inbox. A big um, venture capitalists and big funds of money wanting to buy these brands because they produce such a high return on investment. So if we look at a 4X, which would sort of be an average... Um, valuation, four times that $250,000 in profit would mean you could sell that business for $1 million. And all you have to do to get there is launch three products in the next 12 months. $1 million being your roadmap and your journey to freedom. And we know this is true because here we have a 23-year-old hairdresser from Dallas, actually a very close friend of Mike and ours now, Channing, and her amazing husband, Justin, who I work very closely with nowadays. Justin and Channing were able to build their brand up to $500,000 per month, just as I showed you at the start of the workshop here today. In December, we did that across many of our brands. But they went one step further, and they've now been able to sell that brand for multiple millions of dollars, literally just in November of 2020, literally just a, a couple of months ago. And Channing's gone on to, to help her mum. And um, I think she gave her mum her hair salon. I saw recently she's buying her a car and she's been really uh, being able to look after the loved ones and take send the kids to college and never really have to worry about working a 40 hour sort of a week job, never have to worry about paying the bills because Justin and Channing built a brand with profit, and then we're able to sell that brand to investors that are looking to purchase these brands. So now what? You've, meet, you've, you've listened to all this and you may be thinking, this is all great, Dan, but where do I go from here? Right now is the best opportunity that I have ever seen to build a wildly successful e-commerce business. 
And you really don't want to miss this golden era of e-commerce that we're living in right now. You, but the problem with this is it's, we're only really scratching the surface. There's only so much that we can go into um, in this sort of 90 minutes that we've had here with you today. And whilst I've uh, endeavored to cover absolutely everything, Mike and I, um, that to get you started in this business, there is always a lot more depth and there's a lot more under the water to building this business. In addition to that, um, I want the, you may be feeling a certain level of uncertainty about the future. Maybe you just want to freeze and sort of wait it out. But what's your thing? What's your plan if things get worse? What's your plan if things get better? How do you see that future happening? You could go out there and do this yourself with everything that we've walked you through here, through here today. We've given you the complete blueprint and the roadmap for building these brands, generating hundreds of thousands of dollars in profit, millions of dollars in revenue that you can sell for millions of dollars very quickly. But if you do, you may choose the wrong product. You could end up with a bad supplier. You could overpay for your inventory. You could pick the wrong keywords, create a bad Amazon listing, waste money on the wrong kind of advertising, maybe miss a step in launching the product, potentially get your Amazon seller central account suspended accidentally because Amazon are quite strict on some of that stuff. You're going to maybe waste time, waste money. But worst of all, and we see this a lot, give up right before you're about to succeed because you don't have that guidance around you. But if you work with us inside of amazing selling machine known as ASM, you will get a complete blueprint to your financial freedom in 2021. Amazing Selling Machine has been the number one business building program since 2012. That's nine years of ongoing success with over 35,000 students that have graduated and completed Amazing Selling Machine. Those 35,000 students are from 138 different countries. And ASM is created by real experts, myself, Mike, Matt, and all the mentors that are active in this business, generating millions of dollars every single year on Amazon. And not only that, it's backed by a team of over 50 people in the company that are literally there to ensure that you succeed. ASM is really a full package of step-by-step -step training, resources, and direct support to make sure that you succeed at building this business. So when you become a member of ASM and join us in building this business, you get access to the number one online web class that really consists of step-by-step, -step, over the shoulder videos presented by myself, Mike, Matt, Rich, and some of the mentors showing you exactly how to build this business. Every single step to success is laid out within the training. Over 160 lessons, eight modules, and over 50 hours of content readily available to show you exactly what you need to do, which buttons to click, and how to build a successful brand on Amazon. You really will build your business step by step, anytime, anywhere. As Mike mentioned at the start of this training, I'm currently out in Dubai in the Middle East with my family, my wife, my two children, because I have the freedom to work from anywhere in the world, no matter what's happening in the world, no matter what time of day it is. And all I need is my laptop and an internet connection. And you can build this business as many have done in the morning before starting work or after. It really does take just an hour a day to get going. Now, when you join ASM, as part of being an ASM member, you get free updates for life. We are continually updating ASM and we make major, major updates every single year with all the latest updates and things that are changing. And as we learn new tactics and new strategies, or maybe Amazon changes the rules in, ways, in, in the way that things work, we quickly update the training so that everyone gets the latest and best training on how to be successful on Amazon. So when it comes to the web class, module one is all about finding your product. We've gone through the surface level of that today and we go even deeper within the training in exactly what to look for and give you tools and different tips on how to find success in finding that first product.
Module two is all about product sourcing, how to communicate with suppliers, how to get the best prices, how to negotiate the best quality. Module three is brand creation, how to make a brand that really stands out on Amazon, attracts the right customer and sets you apart from your competitors. Module four is the pre-launch foundation. So in this module, we're going to be setting up all the marketing foundation and everything that we need to get in place to ensure a successful product launch. Module five is now we're sort of really rubbers hitting the road. We're generating sales and we're going through that product launch. I walk you through exactly how to build out the advertising campaigns, exactly how to do the keyword research, exactly how to generate those rebates and bring all of that together to be successful and generate success on Amazon very quickly. Module six is the easy Amazon advertising formula. Amazon advertising is a whole area of the business that has to be mastered. And in module six, I walk you through exactly how to build that out, how to find success based on millions of dollars in advertising spend and millions of dollars in sales. We've taken all of our experience and all of our learning and laid that out in a step-by-step -step training, showing you exactly how to make Amazon ads work for you. Module seven, we're then working into scaling profits. So we've launched our products, we've got them selling, we're on page one of Amazon. How do we now start scaling those profits into the millions of dollars so that you're generating 500,000 a month like I showed you at the start of this training? And then module eight is more advanced traffic tactics to get more people looking at your product and more people buying your product. So just as Mike mentioned, Devin, and Katie DeRoche. Devin was bored at sort of his safe job as an accountant who started, he started his career as a CPA and he was in one of the big four accounting firms. Katie, his fiance, um, Devin doing the network marketing. Um, Katie's brother actually came to Devin and Katie and said, hey, take a look at this amazing thing. And they were talking about amazing selling machine. Now blown away by the simplicity, watching the modules at night, thinking about the product during the day while working. They actually went ahead and launched the product on their honeymoon um, and started selling on their honeymoon from their hotel room. Within two months, they generated $10,000 a month in revenue. The next year, they went on to generate $450,000. And that enabled um, Katie to leave her job. The next year, Devin was able to quit. And now they've made the Inc. 5000 list uh, number 811 on the Inc. 5000 list, the fastest growing companies in America, generating a growth of 527% year on year and over $2.7 million in revenue from what started with Amazing Selling Machine and taking this online training. Now, in addition to the online web class, you then get access to the ASM mentors. And this is the second benefit of ASM. You need a team in this business. There are a lot of things that you're going to face in setting up the business and things you need to navigate. And you have to surround yourself with like-minded people that are not only at the same level as you, but also ahead of you and have been there and done it. We have over 21 real experts within ASM. And these are, and we're very proud of our ASM mentorship team. On average, each one of our mentors generates 1.8 million dollars per year in average sales and here's a screenshot actually of uh, a single year's earnings from one of our mentors over three million three hundred seventy two thousand dollars earned in a single year from selling on amazon and we have 21 mentors of this caliber the mentors are there to help you break through obstacles, correct those sort of answers fast because there's a lot of like little decisions that you have to make along the way. And really ultimately they're, here, they're there to sort of help you save time and avoid mistakes. Like Anna Silva, I, I know Anna very well, um, she's a good friend. Anna's at $400,000 a month in sales and Anna's an ASM mentor and she's available to help you navigate building this business day in, day out. And really sort of future pace and sort of make sure that you're on the right track as Amazon's always changing. Now, in addition to the ASM mentorship team that you get access to, you also get access to the private members-only community. 
It takes more than tactics to be successful in this business. It takes experience and it takes motivation and accountability from people that are on the same journey. There is nothing more powerful than surrounding yourself with people that are going through the same process, that share the same aspirations and share the same goals. We have over 35,000 members across 138 countries. And we have nearly 6,000 weekly interactions happening within the members community every single week. And really, this is here to, one, motivate you and make you believe, yes, you can do this. And yes, you will become successful building this business, but also hold you accountable to implementing everything that you learn, everything we teach within ASM, and really drive you to that goal of those three products over the next 12 months as quickly as possible. And the community is a fantastic place to really get all those answers because you are the equal of the five people around you. And when you surround yourself with motivated, aspirational people that want the same in life as you. It is a very, very beautiful and powerful thing. And not only that, within the community, because there's so much data and so much experience being shared, you will get access to the latest and newest tactics at any one time, which puts you ahead of all your competitors on Amazon who are still using the old tactics and old ways of selling. So in addition to the number one online web class, the best business building program since 2012, the ASM mentors that you get access to, 21 real experts, millions of dollars in sales, the private members only community to get that motivation, the accountability, access to all the latest tactics and answers that you need. You also get access to the private resource vault. This is over $10,000 in proven resources, over 61 resources that are going to save you time, money and stress the very same contacts such as freight forwarders and shipment companies and sourcing companies and graphic designers that we use within our own businesses, all of these resources have been vetted, all of these resources have been tested, and we have done deals with all of these uh, resources to get you the best help for every aspect of that business. In addition to that, possibly one of the most powerful areas of what you get access to within ASM is the ASM software suite. This is data power. And really with data can come overwhelm. So what we've done within the sort of uh, ASM software suite is simplify this and really help you make the right decisions faster by doing a lot of the thinking for you. So data is absolutely power in this business, but data can be overwhelming. So when you join ASM, you get access to a more detailed version of MBS Retriever that we call the Product Opportunity Finder that gives us access to more data points, more in-depth data points that allow us to make better decisions. In addition to that, you get access to the Product Analyzer that once you've set up your potential products in here, tells you exactly which products make the most sense and which products you should prioritize and also calculates all of the monthly sales, the profit margins and your initial return on investment based on what data is put into that. In addition to the product analyzer and the product opportunity finder, we have the perfect keyword tell, uh, tool. Sorry. Now, this is a very, very, very powerful tool that analyzes all of your competitors' keywords and tells you exactly which keywords you should go and target to generate sales. So gone are the days of hours of uh, brutal keyword research, trying to understand all the data. We've taken all of that, we've built this tool, and we do all of that for you. And in the click of the button, we make sure that you're targeting the right keywords to get you set up for success and make sure that you don't target the wrong keywords, which we see happen so often, because you can go through all of that um, work, all that activity in picking the product, creating the brand, finding a supplier. But if you target the wrong keywords, you're not going to find success and you're not going to generate any sales. So we built this tool and this helps you find the perfect keywords to launch to ensuring your success and helping you generate sales and generate revenues that much faster on Amazon. Now, in addition to that, as you know, we use rebates to quickly make sure that our product shows up on Amazon. And one place to go and get that is in Facebook groups and on Facebook and manage that whole process manually. Or you could get access to our rapid product launcher, 
a platform and a marketplace that we've created that's completely private, completely behind closed doors, has thousands of Amazon shoppers ready to pick up your products and takes care of all of the rebate process for you. Um, you simply upload your product, say how many rebates you want to generate a day. So five rebates per keyword per day, click go. And this piece of, or this platform, think of it like Airbnb, but instead of uh, introducing sort of people looking for apartments, we're introducing shoppers to your products. Um, we'll generate those rebates and rapidly go and launch your products on Amazon and get it to show up in the top of the search results. And that is currently only available to members of ASM and our high level communities. Now, in addition to the tools that make it so much easier, so much faster to find success in this business, we then have the results coaching program. There is a reason that I still continue to pay personally $30,000 plus per year for coaching and mentoring and masterminding. I pay this my, myself for my own personal development because being held accountable to one, executing your own plan, but two, continually pushing yourself and developing yourself and striving for more and ensuring that you have clarity over your goal and that you're consistently, as Mike's mentioned in the beginning of this training, consistently taking the action that you need to achieve to, to, to achieve that goal. There is nothing more powerful than that and being held accountable. You are 95% more likely to find success if someone holds you accountable. And that's the reason that I continue to pay over $30,000 a year to be a part of certain uh, coaching groups and mentoring groups because I want to be held accountable in my own success as I continue to hit, reach new levels of success in my own business. Now, inside of ASM, you're not going to pay $30,000 um, to be held accountable and get access to results coaching, your ASM experts results coach is included within the ASM membership. So you're going to get onboarding call, which makes sure that you're set up correctly, you know, everything you need to be doing within ASM and how to get started. And then in addition to that, you're also going to get weekly check ins from your results coach, which means you can be bigger, faster and find success easier because you have someone helping you through that journey and holding you accountable to being able to do that. Just imagine having someone giving you a call, checking in with you, checking to check where you're out, whether it's by text or call or email, and you being able to sort of get the clarity you need to take that next action, instead of being confused for a little bit of time and slowing that process down, you're going to find that success so much faster through that process. And I can talk about this personally, because I've paid this, I've paid $30,000 a year for a few years now for the very same reason. So Amazing Sell Machine really is everything that you need to be successful on Amazon. And when you join Amazing Selling Machine, ASM for short, you get access to the online web class, the ASM mental access, over 21 real experts, you get the private community access, the private resource vault, the very same contacts and resources that we're using in our multi-million dollar businesses. You get access to the ASM software suite that literally gives you a complete unfair advantage over any other seller on Amazon. It just gets you those results much faster, much quicker, much bigger, much better. And finally, access to the results coaching program. Now, if we were to put a value against this, this is worth around 20,000 US dollars. But let's not think about that. Let's not think about the value. Let's think about what's really at stake here. If you launch three products and do 30 units per day, that's a million, excuse me, million dollars in revenue that you would be leaving on the table if you don't do this. But what if you only sold 10 a day of three products? So let's be super conservative. And what if you only sold 10 units a day of three products, very easy to do on Amazon. That's six to $7,000 in monthly profit every single month. Three products, 10 units a day at $30, day, at $30 each, a 25% profit margin over 30 days would be $6,750 per month in profit. That's what's at stake if you don't do this and you don't take us up on this opportunity of building a brand of products on Amazon and achieving that level of success. With $6,000 per month, every single month, 
give you more freedom? That's the question that you really have to ask yourself. Would $6,000 every month give you more freedom? And I'd be interested to know the answer to that. Would it give you more freedom? Well, it did for many of our members, like you can see here, 521,000 in literally a month's period. Or another member here, generating 16,000 in 30 days. Or Jamie. Jamie did a million dollars in a single month. And this was in, uh, you can see June of last year. It was nothing to do with COVID. It was, wasn't a, a sort of a pandemic product, so to speak. It was an everyday kitchen product, home and kitchen product. And Jamie's there celebrating with his daughter because he generated a million dollars in sales in a single month. And then this goes on and on and on. We have tons of testimonials like this generating $50,000, $100,000 a month, $50,000 in sales in a single month. And the results continue to come through. And we've been doing this nine years. But for ASM, you're not going to pay $20,000, even though that's the value of everything we've included here. We know that the more accessible and the more affordable we make this, the more people we can help be successful with this business model. So the price to join ASM right now is $4,997, not $20,000, not $21,000, $4,997. And we do have payment plans available that make it very accessible and very affordable. Now with that, you get access to a full 30 day money back guarantee, which means you can purchase access today, you can join ASM today, you can make that payment. And you've got a full 30 days to go through the training, engage within the community, talk to the mentors, access the tools, access the resource vault. And if for whatever reason, it's not for you, we have a no questions asked money back guarantee. And all you have to do is email support at amazing.com, which is our support desk and Sonia and her team are there to sort of pick up that ticket. And we will give you an unconditional refund on your investment into ASM. No questions asked. So you can literally try the business on us for 30 days and we will give you that 100% refund with no questions asked whatsoever. So really your risk today is, is nothing. You can dive straight in, see if it's for you. And if it's not, no bother, no questions asked, we will give you that refund. But we wanna go a step further to generating your success this year. You know success is as simple as releasing three products in the next 12 months. You know that we're going to start with that starter product, go into that growth product, and then go into our dream product. And all we have to do is get to that 100 units a day across those three products. And we are into $250,000 a year in profit and a million dollars in revenue. So to, make, to ensure that success and to really support you in doing this, in addition to that 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee, we're going to go a step further. And this is known as the 2021 success agreement. You have until the end of December 2021 to implement everything we teach you. And there's a few prerequisites within this. And we check that you've implemented it and you've been through the training and you've implemented everything we've taught. You have to have ordered a product and launched the product and gone through everything we teach you. And providing you do that, it's completely risk-free until December 2021 because up to December 2021, providing that you meet the criteria and you've, refund, you've um, implemented all the training and you've done everything we've taught you, we will not only refund your ASM payments, so any payments you've made um, towards the cost of the training of ASM, we will not only give you a 100% refund on that, we will also buy back up to $5,000 in unsold inventory. So this is, a, this is quite bonkers. No one else would, has the confidence to do this. But you've got an entire year, an entire 11 and a half months at this point to go through the training, order your first product, find those three products, pick that first product, pick that growth product, pick that dream product, go through and implement everything we teach you. And if for whatever reason, this business isn't for you, after that almost year's period, we will not only refund ASM, we will also buy back up to $5,000 in unsold inventory, which makes this a complete no-brainer and completely risk-free until December 2021. You've got an entire year 
to build this business on us. Try everything out. And if for whatever reason, it doesn't make sense to you, we will go ahead and give you that refund, 100% refund of ASM, as well as up to $5,000 in inventory. So put simply, you build and we take all of the risk. And all you've got to do is follow the system and implement everything we tell you to implement. So as well as the 30 day, 100% money back guarantee, you get access to the 2021 success agreement. But I should mention this offer expires this Thursday, the 21st of January at 11.59 PST. So you've got a couple of days here, but it does expire in a couple of days on Thursday at 11.59 PST Pacific time. And take note of that. You definitely don't want to miss out on this. In addition to that, I have some breaking news for you. Very excited for you to, to announce this. The full value of ASM, as I demonstrated, is almost $21,000, $20,982. The public price of ASM is $4,997, but only for the next couple of days while this is available, and it's available right now, we're going to take an additional $1,000 off that price, which means you can join, um, um, you can join ASM for $3,997. And we do have payment plans available. That's one payment, lifetime access. So you, it's not like an annual thing or a monthly thing. Once you've made your payment to join ASM, you're a lifetime member, you get free updates for life, lifetime access to the program and all of the benefits that we've just told you about, the mental program, the private community, the resources, lifetime access, one payment, and we're taking $1,000 off that price. But as I said, this offer expires in a couple of days on the 21st of January. And this is the best price you will ever see to join ASM. $1,000 off, which is $1,000 that you can spend on your first starter product and getting going on Amazon. So in today's webinar, we've covered your blueprint to financial freedom in 2021. We've covered planning your roadmap through creating your brand and sticking and working on finding that first product, which is your starter product, building out that growth product, and then moving to your dream product. We've covered how to choose that first product and the criteria for choosing it and within budget, how to go ahead and source it and find good quality manufacturers, how to launch it and get it to show up on Amazon. So we start generating those sales. How to then go ahead and scale your brand by adding your second product and your third product from using the profits that you're generating and why you must act right now because now is the best time in history to create this as well as the 2021 success agreement that makes this completely risk-free until December and we're taking $1,000 off the price and for the first 20 people only, you will get a one-hour one-on-one coaching session with either myself or Mike McClary. We've generated millions and continue to generate millions in revenue in this business. As you can see there, I demonstrated nearly 2 million in December alone. And across our brands, I think we hit around four and a half, five million in December alone. Now, the opportunity to join ASM is to create your own success and really take it seriously this year and take control of your uh, future. People talk about freedom being sort of financial freedom. They talk about freedom to travel uh, and the freedom um, to work anywhere in the world. But autumn, ultimately, especially in today's world, what freedom means to us at Amazing is the freedom is the ability to make a decision, the ability to choose what you want to do with your life and what you want to provide for the life for your loved ones around you, your friends, your family, your kids, whatever that is to you, you have the ability to choose because you're not reliant on someone else giving you that nine to five, that 40 hour work week job, or you're not reliant on the financial constraints that stop you being able to make that decision. I was very fortunate to be in this position now for a few years, and there is nothing better than when something goes wrong being able to travel the world and decide where you want to be uh, whilst things are going on in the world. And that's what I'm doing here in Dubai at the moment. So really, ASM is your path to being able to choose what your freedom looks like for you. So to get access to the full 20,000 
$982 worth of value inside of the ASM program. We invite you to become a member today. Included with the ASM, you get the online web class, the ASM mentor access, the private community, the resource vault, the ASM software suite, and the results coaching. In addition to that, we have our success package that's only available for the next couple of days. And the, you get the 30-day, 100%, no conditions, no questions asked refund guarantee. You get the 2021 success agreement that allows you to go ahead and build this business for the next 12 months on us by the end of December. You get access until the end of December. And providing you've implemented everything we teach you and everything we ask you to do, we will not only give you a full refund of ASM, we will also buy back up to $5,000 in unsold inventory. You build the business, we take the risk. We're taking $1,000 off the price of ASM. And for the first 20 people that join right now, live on this coaching call, you get access to a one hour, one-on-one -on -one coaching session with either myself or Mike. And right now I'm gonna show you the URL, the website, the link where you can go ahead and do that. And I don't think we have the ability to drop it into the Q&A box or anything like that because the questions aren't working. So you need to make sure that you, you type this out. You need to go ahead and go to asmnow.com forward slash habit. So just to recap, we invite you to become a member today. Get access to the full $21,000 ASM program that has all that value in it. Included with ASM, you get the online web class, the mentor access, the private community, the resource vault, the ASM software suite, the results coaching, a full success package. And go ahead and go to asmnow.com forward slash habit. And when you have, come back, drop it into the questions box. Let us know that you've joined ASM. Let us know that you joined our family, our community, because I want to welcome you. I want to acknowledge you. I want to congratulate you on taking action towards creating freedom of choice in your life for you, your loved ones, and really taking advantage of what is the best time in history to be building a brand on Amazon right now and creating that financial success in your own future. Now with that, Mike, I think we're going to jump over to q and I can see a bunch of questions going on in the Q&A box. Um, and I think we'll go ahead and turn cameras back on and get this conversation flowing. Yeah, awesome. Thanks so much, Dan, to just turn my camera back on myself as well. Uh, and we got tons of questions, uh, tons of compliments. Uh, as a matter of fact, you always do an incredible job training and giving it your all. So uh, thanks so much for that. But I'll tell you what, why don't you take a few minutes break and I'm going to go ahead and start answering questions. The first question I have, that several people have asked this, uh, I'm going to answer is uh, what exactly um, what about the 2021 success agreement we're talking about? Like, where can you see the details? I'm talking to our order form guys right now. They're putting a link in there. It'll be in the terms and conditions, and you'll see the exact details of what uh, in what the 2021 success promise entails. I have it right here. I'm going to read it to you, and then I'll make sure that it's updated so you guys all see it as well. But here it is. So all you'll need to do is sign up right here on the webinar, or you're going to have a couple extra days, um, like Dan mentioned. You, you know, uh, but we're gonna, you know, not trying to force you to make a super fast spur of the moment decision as far as joining up and saving the thousand dollars and taking advantage of the success promise. You have a couple days to do that. But when you do sign up, and I hope as many do, here's what you'll need to do in order to take advantage of the 2021 success promise. Uh, the first thing, we just want to make sure that you set up your Seller Central account within 60 days. That's two full months. You'll actually be through almost all the training by then. It's eight weeks of training. We just wanna make sure that you're taking the initiative and signing up so that you can actually sell on Amazon. That one's super simple. Um, all these are very straightforward. Then you wanna make sure that you place your order for inventory within six months, half a year. Uh, we used to do this, we still have in the past. We have asked people to order their products within 30 days. Uh, sometimes we'll extend it up to 60 days because it's all doable, uh, it really is. But what we're doing today on this webinar, we're giving you a six full months to actually put down and order your product within six months and then go out there and launch it within six months as well. Uh, that gives you plenty of time in order to, to complete those steps. So we're not really saying it's gotta be ordered in four weeks or eight weeks. We're just saying in six months, order your product and launch it on Amazon. And then we want you just to use the steps you're gonna learn already inside of ASM. Uh, we're gonna show you exactly how to launch your product. Again, it is not overly complicated. Uh, 
we give you all the steps laid out in detail what you need to do. So you just need to make sure you follow them in order. And again, you'll be going out there and you'll be using this internal system that we have partnered with on how to do these cashback offers. Dan shows you exactly how to launch your first ad campaigns inside of Amazon. Again, it's not very difficult, but he shows you a lot of tricks, very simple tricks to target the right type of search terms and buyers to get faster sales right away. And then you just wanna make sure that you have found the right type of product. That, again, we're gonna show you how to do inside of ASM. You do those steps, order your product, launch your product within six months. And then another six months later, by the end of the year, if you're still not satisfied, uh, let's imagine that the business isn't living up to your expectations, or let's just imagine that you decided you don't want to run your own e-commerce business. Uh, I often think, a lot of us often think that we love this business so much. Uh, we can work from home, we can travel, uh, we can pretty much, you know, scale the business up as big or as little as we want to, because it's all a matter how much effort we want to put into it. Not everyone wants that. Some people want a regular job. Some people like to have a corporate job or a nine to five or a trade job. Totally fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So if you are in one of those roles right now, if you have one of those jobs or you're not working, you want to give this a shot. This is your chance to take that shot, to try everything that we'll be showing how to do inside of ASM, launch your business within six months, and then take a, another six months by the end of the calendar year and let us know if you still want the business. And if you don't, we'll do exactly what Dan said. We'll reimburse you for everything you spent on the actual training program and then we'll also reimburse you for up to $5,000 in any unsold inventory. So if you spend $5,000 in inventory and you only sell $1,000 worth of it, we'll pay you back for the other remaining $4,000. Uh, and someone, I think it's Marcelo, uh, one of the questions on here asked, uh, you know, is this a legitimate offer? Uh, and have you ever had to pay it out? Absolutely, it's uh, on both fronts. It is very legitimate. We would never make the offer if we weren't willing to stand behind it. And we have paid out it on multiple occasions. There are people who've realized this just isn't the right type of business for them. They prefer the security of something else. Uh, this is being on business your own, being an entrepreneur, taking that leap out there, uh, but using all the knowledge and experience we have in order to support you and make it you know, as little risk as possible. There's always risk in starting your own business, which is exactly why we created the 2021 Success Promise. And uh, that's why we're putting it out there on this special webinar today so you get access to it. We do not always make that available, just so you know. Um, it's something that we take a lot of risk on ourselves because if every single person takes us up on that, we wouldn't have a company around. Uh, but we know most people who go out there and start their business and build their brand, start selling, they're gonna fall in love with this and they're gonna want to continue doing this business, which is our goal and our hope for as many people on here as possible. But again, Sign up to you know on Seller Central and Amazon within 60 days. Order your products and launch them on Amazon within six full months. And then you still have to the end of the calendar year to let us know if you want to take us up on the success promise. So that's it. Um, also keep in mind that on the order form that Dan gave you the link to, the asmnow.com slash habit, there will be a link at the very bottom that says terms and conditions. If you want to read all the details, click on that and you can read them. And again, they have our previous success promise in there that we've uh, offered up before. They're updating the dates just to make sure that you have the, the 2021 dates in as well. Uh, another thing too, is that once you get inside of ASM, this is something we added just this year. Uh, you know, we sometimes offer bonuses like this. We have the coaching call bonus on this call right here for the first 20 people only. We have the thousand dollars off our normal price of ASM and we have the 2021 success agreement. When you log in to your account, you will see all these bonuses in your dashboard. That way you won't forget about them. Uh, if you wanna check all the details and the dates, we have it in there. We're not trying to hide anything. We wanna make sure you take advantage of these. Uh, Dan and I wanna make sure you take advantage of the coach call with us because we know we've seen the results of that. We wanna make sure you take advantage of the 2020 success promise because that keeps you moving forward and taking all the steps that we know through experience and through our members experience will get you to where you wanna be. That's why the success promise exists. Uh, okay, so a few of the other questions as well. Let's see. Um, uh, Gareth is asking, will this work if starting out in the UK? The answer is absolutely yes. Now, one thing we do recommend is that no matter where you live, uh, doesn't matter what country you live in, 
we recommend starting out selling in the United States. There was a point in time over the past couple of years, we'd recommend starting out in the UK, sometimes even in Germany. Uh, but recently, Amazon has made it so that signing up for those countries can can be a little more difficult only because they have to keep track of money laundering and and other issues as well so uh, we know that you know well if you're gonna sign up and start selling you want to sell as many as possible just start in the u.s it's actually easier in a lot of ways to start selling in the u.s and the u.s has the biggest demand of all the markets so for everyone selling doesn't matter where you're at we recommend starting selling in the united states you'll get faster sales that way and then once you're up and selling you have this business going probably within like a, a year or so it's very simple then, especially as an established seller, to then go ahead and create another account in the UK, in Germany, in Australia, in Canada, wherever it is you're living. And if they have an Amazon marketplace, then you can expand and sell there as well. But definitely you can live anywhere just about and start selling the US and then expand later on, but start off in the US. Um, Arshad asked a question. Arshad has a lot of good questions. As a matter of fact, uh, sounds like he's been trying to, you know, get ready to sell for a while. How do we work around the 200 inventory limit? So for those of you who aren't selling on Amazon right now, uh, over when the pandemic hit last March, Amazon immediately realized that they were going to have to send all these urgent supplies, or they had to have only these critical supplies that people would be ordering, like paper towels and toilet paper and hand sanitizer, things like that. And they needed to make room in their warehouses to store and ship that out. So they temporarily put a halt on all new un incoming shippings, shipments back in March and then in April. Then once they got things in place, they removed that restriction so that anyone could ship products in. And what they've been doing the past four or five months leading up to the holidays where the demand is crazy is they've been putting some limits on new sellers of only 200 units for your first order. But then what happens after that is once you send in 200 units to Amazon and you start selling, then they start letting you send in more. And as there's more demand for your product, they increase your limits there as well. They just want to make sure that as you that they're making the best available space in their warehouses for the products that have the highest demand. And using our launch and rank formula, your product will have a very high demand very quickly. And so your limits will go up. Now, we also expect that sometime in the near future, Amazon is going to remove those limits altogether uh, because they're getting very good. They're opening up more warehouses. Their infrastructure is getting even better. Uh, the need for all these critical or essential supplies is going down as other places, local places are able to, to meet that. So it shouldn't be a problem. But we do cover that in the training. We let you know exactly what to do in order how to get your products in on time. And also uh, just know that as you sell more, those limits will be lifted for you. Uh, Mike Gonzalez and a couple of the people had trademark questions. And Mike's asking regarding trademark, after you do a search and find that your name is unique, then what? Do you file to get your name trademarked? I assume that you must do something or someone can come along later and take your name. Yes. <clears throat> and there's a couple other questions as well as how long does it take? Normally, uh, for one, after you do create your brand name, you will want to go and get a trademark. You don't have to do it right away. Uh, the way that trademarks work in the U.S., it's called a first use system. So as long as you start using and selling a product with your brand on it, you're protected from that point going forward. Um, so even if someone does go ahead and try to like trademark your brand six months down the road, if you were selling before them, you have the right to that trademark. But we do recommend that after you're selling for a certain amount of time, for me, it's once you start making sales consistently, then go ahead and spend the money to get a trademark. That's what I would do. Um, another thing is it may take normally about a year or two to get a trademark, but there's something inside of uh, Amazon that they've just created in the past year. I've used it. It's called the IP Accelerator Program. It can give you all the same trademark protections in a matter of weeks. Uh, I know I did it last Christmas around this time. It took me less than two weeks to get my trademark inside of it. Well, the trademark was actually recognized by Amazon with a few weeks, so I was protected all within a few weeks time. And I also know that Dan and some other people have done that as well. Amazon is really making great strides at protecting you and your brand and your intellectual property. So that's why they created this new program. It was one of the 225 tools they created in 2019 to help sellers like us. And it makes the trademark process incredibly simple and fast. So yes, you go ahead, you think if you do your search like we show you inside of ASM, make sure no one else is using your brand, 
then you build your product with that brand name. And then once you feel comfortable, once you're bringing in sales, go out there, use Amazon's IP accelerator, which we'll talk about in the course, and then get your trademark protection that way. Good question, Mike, and several others as well. Mike, I'm just going to jump in there. We've had a bunch of people join. I just want to welcome uh, Catherine, Anne, uh, John, Lisa. I'm trying to pull it out of the Q&A box because the chat box isn't working today. Um, but really welcome to anyone who's taken action. Um, that's a really massive sign of sort of being on the right step towards success. And Mike and I both really look forward to chatting with you personally and giving you that sort of one-on-one, -on -one, that personal advice towards success. So welcome, guys. Uh, welcome to the crew. Welcome to the family. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, welcome. Like, we really do look forward to these calls. So we can't wait to see you guys get inside and start selling and building your business. Uh, let's see. We have one from Chloe uh, who asks, hello, I appreciate all the information and I'm learning so much. My question is, why are FBA sellers also interested in sharing information on how to sell on Amazon? So why basically are Dan and I on here showing people how to do this? Because wouldn't it create competition? I really appreciate this info. Um, I'll, I'll give you my perspective and I'll let Dan give his and I'm pretty sure it'll be, it'll be similar on this. There is so much opportunity on Amazon, uh, not only right now, but in the future. Amazon continues to grow and grow. Uh, I believe about five, six years ago, they only had 5% of well, e-commerce was like 5% of the overall marketplace. Now e-commerce is growing and Amazon's taking even a bigger piece of the pie of that growing e-commerce pie, which means there are more opportunities every single day on Amazon. And even though there may be, let's say 30 different categories of products on Amazon, each category like baby has thousands and thousands of subcategories. And each one of those subcategories are individual products. So there are probably something 30, 40, 50,000 different individual types of products on Amazon. Now for each one of those, you can easily have dozens, if not hundreds of people selling those successfully on Amazon. So if you do the math, there are tens, if not hundreds of thousands of products on Amazon that are viable in order for sellers like us to sell. I don't know about Dan. I don't want to go out there and create more than five or 10. <laughs> it's just kind of a, uh, there, even though we have the process down, I have no desire, no need to go out there and develop hundreds or thousands of products on Amazon. I'm happy with the few brands that I have. So for me, I really enjoy sharing what we do today. Uh, I've done training like what Dan's done on here. Uh, and I think that if you are ever on and watch our training videos, you'll see how much we love doing this. And especially when you become a member, you'll see how much we love being able to see our members success. There's nothing quite like knowing that someone who got their start with something you were involved with, like the training from amazing or amazing selling machine, reaches out to you a year down the road to tell you that they're making $50,000 a month in sales like Joe Campa was, or several people said they just sold their business for millions of dollars. Uh, there's nothing like that, no dollar amount in the world that makes something as worthwhile as having that happen, which is exactly why we do this. Uh, we also have other things we wanna do in Amazing. Amazon is by far the very first place, the very best place to start building your business and your brand. However, there are other things you can do afterwards. There are other marketplaces that are you can expand to right now, and there'll be other ones in the future that we anticipate coming out in the future as well. So our goal is to help bring in as many people, make successful as many people as possible on Amazon. And then once you have that success, then there are other ways we can help you grow and expand your business as well. This is the first stepping stone. It's the most important, but we believe that by sharing this and getting as many people successful as possible, we can not only change the world, but we can do things to help maybe change so many lives as, as well. Thousands of lives that we already have changed. Uh, and I, I'll turn this over to Dan and kind of let you give his thought on it as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I agree with everything you say, Mike. I mean, entrepreneurship is a beautiful thing. As you mentioned, I, I've, I'm big into entrepreneurship myself, creating loads of businesses and being a part of that process, helping other people start their entrepreneurial journey, create these businesses. Um, it, it's what gets me out of bed in the morning, what keeps me alive, what keeps me going. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really is just the, it's become, once you get to a certain level of earning in a business like this, it becomes less about the money you're earning and more about the achievement of what you're doing. Um, so a lot of this for me personally is more around the achievement of helping others as well versus the money that can be earned out of the business. So, um, yeah, that's, I'll just echo everything you say, hundred percent. Awesome. Now, Dan, do you want me to read off some questions or you want to find some as well while I'm doing this? Yeah, no, I've got, I've got some here. I mean, there's a, there's a few coming through. Um, so I'm seeing a lot around the, the inventory limit 
Um, we really have just tailored our approach to the launch on that. So when starting out, yes, there's an inventory limit of 200 units, um, but we take a bit of a slower launch process. And then as you start selling, Amazon will actually give you more of an increase in inventory. Um, so we're not concerned about it. Everyone can send in inventory. Um, and then as you start generating success and sales, uh, that inventory limit increases. And because we consistently generate those sales because of the way in which we teach you to launch and run the advertising, those imagery limits will quickly start to increase. Um, so we teach you about using um, sort of third party logistics providers and the launch process really accounts for that. So we, there's no stress over the uh, inventory restrictions. Um, there's a few questions around PPC and sort of the cost of advertising. So typically in a product, um, let's say you have a product that has a 35% profit margin um, after calculating. You saw the one that we demonstrated, I believe it had a 40%, the tackle holder, I think they had a 27. Um, typically we will contribute around 10% of the profit or 10% of the revenue towards advertising. So if we have a 35% profit margin, 10% of that would be contributed towards advertising, giving us a 25% net profit. So we've deducted that 10% for advertising. And that's typically the ratio that you can look at. So as you go through the training and as we start talking about advertising and working out what I call the advertising goals, we'll be having that conversation and really understanding what are the target sort of contributions of advertising and where does that leave us on a net profit percentage. So for advertising, you can expect a 10% contribution and we factor that in to get to our net profit on the bottom line. Awesome. Uh, we've got a lot of questions as well about how much money do you need to start this business? Uh, so let's address that. That of course, you know, you're making an investment in yourself and ASM. So the next part of it would be how much do you also need to start? Uh, by far and away, the biggest expense in this business is going to be your inventory. Uh, other than that, things usually cost a couple hundred dollars, really, if you want to go ahead and get a domain and an email address uh, and maybe pay for some professional photos. Those things are fairly inexpensive. The inventory is the biggest expense you're going to have. So let's assume you want to get $500, or I'm sorry, 500 units uh, worth of inventory. You can get less if you want to. Uh, and then the average cost of that product might be between three and five dollars would be a goal. You could be going for around two thousand to twenty five hundred dollars with inventory. Um, that is probably on the lower end. We recommend like the bare bone minimum is a thousand dollars. That's like the bare bone minimum to get going. You'll be limited if you do that. Like we're being fully upfront and honest here. You'll be limited. You can do it, but you'll, you know, you'll have to just be very careful about how many you order, what you order, and then you'll want to sell those very carefully and then use the profits to order more. But to really get going between two thousand and twenty five hundred dollars is probably a good starting point. Uh, and then keep in mind the best way to grow your business and increase the, your inventory and sales is to keep putting as much of that profit back into the business as possible. Pretty much all the people that Dan and I've seen been successful, they, uh, they go in and they know that this for, first order is to learn the business and really learn how to scale up and start building your brand. And then once you get that first order in, you start selling through it, it's after that first order is when the profits really start coming in. Again, we want to make sure you're successful. We're not going to try to like tell you that you'll be making profits in the next three months. That won't happen. Uh, but if you start, if you take everything that we teach you, uh, spend about two to $2,500 in inventory and use the training, then after that first inventory order, especially is when you'll start scaling up that product and your additional products to build your brand as well. So we have a great question from Wilder actually, who says she already has a product on the way to Amazon FBA. Is ASM of benefit to you or to her? And what my answer to you would be of uh, absolutely yes. If you're gonna go at this alone, you've already sort of gone through a product selection process and picking that and getting it to Amazon, you're about to embark on the most difficult part of the process, which is one, creating that sort of powerful product listing that converts people into customers. And then two, successfully launching that product uh, and getting that product to stick on Amazon and show on page one. So you consistently continue to grow, um, grow sales. Now, whilst you could try and figure all that stuff out yourself, maybe research online and get some, some old information that's outdated or is sort of half accurate, um, by working with us in ASM, you're going to get the latest, the best, the newest tactics and strategies that's just going to help you achieve that success so much faster. And the cost of not doing that, the cost of not following a step-by-step -step system is all the sales you've lost 
because of the time wasted in trying to figure it out yourself. Think about all the sales you could be generating if you just implemented a proven system and ranked that product straight away. So world of my message to you is absolutely. And you would certainly make the, uh, the investment 10 times over by following a proven plan versus trying to figure all this stuff out yourself um, and likely making some costly mistakes in the process. Um, so yeah, for anyone who's sort of already sort of been researching this or has been looking into Amazon FBA, ASM is definitely Definitely the fastest, uh, quickest, best way to achieve that success because you're taking the shortcut essentially on a step-by-step -step plan that's laid out in front of you. For anyone that listens to the likes of Tony Robbins or anyone like that, you know that the fastest way to achieve success is to find someone who's been there and done what you want to achieve and then just do what they did. And that's exactly what ASM is. It's, it's created by people that have been there and done this. And we've laid out exactly how to do it. And all you've got to do is follow the system and implement the training. we got a great question from Steve here. Uh, Steven says, hey, great content. I'm worried about the sample product you showed though, the taco holders. I've searched for that item and I don't see, I don't see it mm. and it's not doing well. Why is that? Dan, you want to explain where those taco holders are at right now? Yes. So we actually ran out of inventory on that first because we sold through them a lot faster than we anticipated um, because the demand was high and we ranked uh, the, the formula works very well and we got to 30 units a day very quickly. So we actually have our second inventory order being processed into Amazon at the moment. Um, and we should be launching those here in the next uh, month or so. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we actually sold through and that's why you don't see them at the moment, Stephen, because they're currently out of inventory. They're currently out of stocks. We sold the, through them too quickly. <laughs> yeah, and once we make those live, we're going to show you guys. Um, hey, Dan, I haven't told you this yet, by the way. Uh, Matt Clark okay. and I were talking, and we're going to, we're going to, actually, we talked about this a little bit. We're going to use them again as a case study, Stephen, and everyone on here. Uh, we want to show you what it's like to relaunch a product. Like we showed you know, right, in cool. this webinar, you saw the steps that Dan went through and the team went through to launch that product. Now that it's been, you know, eight, 10 months and the product ran out, we're going to relaunch it again and we're going to document that entire process. So probably in the next, 30, 45 days or so, once we have that get going, you'll be the launch on. We'll make sure if in our email list, you see those and we'll show you exactly what it's like, how Dan's going to make them live again. He's going to check keywords again, make sure we're targeting the right ones. He's going to go through a, probably another short launch rebate process. You'll see all that. Um, so that's why we're intentionally, you know, kind of haven't started that yet today. Give us a few weeks, like Dan said, and it'll be, it'll be awesome to see. Uh, let's see, do, do, do from Gareth already answered that one. Oh, from Lorena, uh, is the business license and, and LLC required to sell on Amazon? The answer is no. If you look at Amazon's own rules, they do not require anyone to be a business or have a business license to sell. You can actually get going as an individual seller if you want to. Uh, as a matter of fact, what I recommend for someone who's not quite sure yet, like you may not know Dan and I very well, maybe this is the first webinar you've been on, uh, you're joining ASM hopefully, and you're getting ready to sell. Um, I would not go out there and, and start and put together an LLC yet. Go out there, go through the training, find your product, find your supplier, get everything ready to go. And once you realize like, wow, this is, this is real, um, go ahead and launch that product on Amazon and set up your account just under your name. You can easily do that. And then what I always recommend is once you see your first sale and you realize, wow, this business works. Those guys weren't joking. This is legitimate. I can see the future. That's when I take the time to go out there and create an LLC or S Corp or whatever's best for you. Uh, there's no need to do that this moment. Same thing with a trademark. I always want people to focus on what they should focus on first. And that is finding your product and getting launched. And then once you see, feel, and you can touch your product because you know it's real, then you'll, you'll understand what it's like to be an e-commerce seller or an entrepreneur. Go out there, create an LLC. They're very fast and affordable and get your trademark on Amazon using their system. Uh, then you'll be completely set up for the future, but you don't need to do that right now. Yeah, for sure. And in, in line with that, actually, we have a number of questions about international uh, members. So as you're probably aware, I'm not American. I don't live in America. I don't live in the United States. I'm currently out in Dubai, um, but I'm typically uh, located in the United Kingdom. And I operate these brands from the UK selling on Amazon.com. And the great thing about working within ASM and working with us uh, as a community is we've been doing this that long, nine years now, that our team and special 
specialist mentors have a wealth of experience in helping people get set up internationally. Now, for most countries, that's very simple, very easy to do. You, you can sell on Amazon.com from anywhere in the world. And for other countries, there's a, there's a couple of hoops that we have to jump through. But we have dedicated team members to help you get through that verification and get you set up with your Seller Central account. Um, so if you're in Hungary or the UK, as I saw um, in the questions box there, you absolutely can get set up very easily, very quickly. And yes, you can sell on Amazon.com. And then you can operate that business from anywhere in the world, just as I do. Um, as, as you just heard, I live in the United Kingdom, but I'm currently out in Dubai um, operating these brands. So um, yes, you can sell on Amazon.com from pretty much anywhere in the world. And anywhere that's a bit more difficult, where it takes a bit of verification, we have James and, um, and, and the Rich on our team to, to help you sort of get work through that and get that verification process solved. All right, so i got two questions here I'll take while you search for some. Uh, one, Cena's asking, how about the ship time? I've tried drop, sh drop shipping products from AliExpress and some of my customers want a refund because the shipping took too long. How will Alibaba prevent this long shipping time? Uh, with the model we're teaching you, you're gonna be using what's called Fulfilled by Amazon. You're not going to use AliExpress. So you're going to find a supplier, we'll show you how. Uh, we'll, you're gonna create your own brand, we'll show you how. You're gonna order from your supplier and have those products shipped to Amazon. Again, we'll show you how. And then every time someone orders the product on Amazon, Amazon ships that product out to them. And Amazon products get the customers crazy fast. They have one day delivery in most major cities. Uh, Amazon Prime is usually just two day delivery. Now they have one day delivery in most places. Um, and then even like longer delivery times that are just a matter of days, nothing like AliExpress. The model that, we'll te that you're going to be learning is all about using Amazon's FBA, which gets products lightning fast. I don't think, I mean, of course it's happened at some point, but 99.9% .9 of my orders, no one complains about the shipping time because Amazon sometimes has it there before they even know they want to order it. That's how, how crazy they are sometimes. Uh, then the other question was from Anaman Mazar. What's the annual budget required to start this business, including your membership fee, product inventory cost, advertising, and everything else? There is no annual budget, Nauman. So uh, with ASM, it's a one-time purchase. When you sign up right now, you're a lifetime member. We're not going to have any kind of monthly fees at all in order to stay a membership and to get all the free updates. That's a one-time cost. Uh, on Amazon, there is a monthly selling fee. It's $39 a month. Uh, so that's really the only recurring cost ever and anywhere. Uh, as far as everything else, it, it's not tied to monthly sales. It's all about buying inventory and then selling the inventory for a profit. Buying inventory, selling it for a profit. The entire goal is to start using your profits in order to generate uh, the ability to buy more inventory. So you'll, you will be limited most likely in your first inventory order, but hopefully after you start selling and, and selling out of inventory, use those profits, you double your next order, then you double your next order, then you order your second and third product like Dan talked about in this training. Um, it's all about that. There's, there's uh, no other monthly fees from us other than the Amazon $13 a month fee. I just want to go ahead and welcome Dang. I can see because I'm I'm trying to pull out the people in the chat box that are saying they joined. Uh, Dang just joined. Welcome, Dang. He said, "Am I in the first twenty? I believe you're just under the wire, Dang." Um, so yeah, congratulations. You, you're going to get that one-on-one -on -one with us. And uh, for anyone else that's got that order page open or maybe sat on the fence, um, there are a couple of spots left and I would encourage you to jump on that. Um, just that conversation with Mike and myself is going to pass on years of experience, millions of dollars in sales worth of experience um, and could be that sort of the step up um, to really get you started. Um, so go to asmnow.com forward slash habit to do that. And remember, you've got that 30 day money back guarantee as well, uh, which means that really you're, you're, you're just sort of dipping your toe today, taking a look through the training, the community, everything. And you've got that 30 days to make that decision. And if it's not for that 30 days, you've also got the 2021 success agreement, uh, which definitely wasn't around when I started uh, six years ago. Um, so yeah, it's a, you should, it's a very, very cool program that's been put together. Uh, we have five spots left, by the way, Dan, I just checked. So there's only five more people able to get in for that one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching call. Um, so if you're on the fence, like Dan said, definitely want to get in right now um, to make sure you're locked in for that. 
Awesome. So I had questions around, uh, we've talked about the UK, we've talked about international setup. Yes, it's the same, exactly the same. Um, the tacker holders, Patrick, were sourced from China. Um, we sourced them from China. There was a 30-day production time. No, actually, sorry, there was a 10-day production time because they were ready off the shelf. There was um, a 30-ish day shipping time, and then it took a bit of processing through customs. Um, so we got those in from China, Patrick. And then um, I saw some questions around um, Facebook advertising and all that sort of good stuff. Um, external marketing is something that we can use in this business in, in as we scale on Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising, YouTube advertising. These are all great channels for putting more people onto our listings. However, with what we've built inside of ASM between our sort of rapid launch um, platform and the way in which we teach you to run advertising, you don't need to do any of that. We teach you to set up a Facebook page and how to sort of create a brand there so you've got that established presence. But you don't need to do any of that stuff to be successful on Amazon. Uh, we give you absolutely everything you need to launch your product, get it to show up and make it visible without having to touch any advanced platforms like Facebook ads or Instagram ads. All you need to do is focus on Amazon. And if all you did was implement all of the Amazon tools that we show you how to work, the advertising, and then the tools that we give you, such as the rapid launch program, uh, platform, sorry, you can easily get to a million dollar business with never thinking about anything other than picking a product and putting it on Amazon. And it's, we really sort of strive to do that as, uh, as, as simply as, and as effectively and as powerfully as we can, because we understand that the, the path of least resistance to that goal, the simplest path to achieve that success is often the best path because uh, it's easier to execute and more people are going to be successful with that. So that's everything we've designed within ASM is to help you achieve that goal of success, that million dollar business as quickly and as simply and as effectively as possible. Awesome. Uh, here's a question from Abdo. How do we get reviews when we first launch our product since the product will be on the last pages when we first launch it? Uh, using what we're going to teach you inside of ASM, you will be able to get reviews. Like one easy way um, Dan actually showed you is to use the request review button. Amazon added this to help us out like they've been doing for so long now. Um, it will go out there and Amazon will contact a certain number of your own uh, well, there's two ways to do it. One, if you just click that button, Amazon's going to send anyone who bought your product a request for review. Another thing to do is something called the Amazon Early Reviewer Program. We'll show how to use that where Amazon goes out there and incentivizes people to give you a review. They're not asking for a positive review. They'll just randomly choose some of the people who bought your product and they will usually offer them a one or two dollar digital coupon in order to review your product. Thirdly, there's also another program out there that once your brand registered, you can use called Bind. Uh, and right now it's temporarily free. It won't matter to anyone starting right now. I'm not trying to say that you're going to go in there, buy ASM, join, sell your product and join this Bind program. Um, but after you are brand registered, when you have your trademark, it's another tool you'll get access to. And then fourthly, in the training, Dan goes over a lot of options to increase your review rates as well show you how to put the right types of inserts into your products and also show you which types of different offers in those inserts will get you the best reviews as well. We walk through all that in there. Um, just, you know, you don't really need to worry about reviews right now. Once you get in the training, we'll show you exactly what you can do in order to get reviews going. Absolutely. Um, we have a Another question, Mike, and I'm going to leave this one to you to answer because I know we've had some younger members in the past, but we had a question around sort of doing this process under the age of 18. Um, I know that we've had younger members in the past. Do you want to sort of comment to, towards that? Yeah, 18 uh, generally is the, the minimum age in order to sell on Amazon. You have to be, in the US at least, you have to be a legal adult. That is the age to do it. Um, if you are not, you can partner with someone, an adult who's older, a family member, or just a friend. Uh, but that's one thing. Yeah, we couldn't. If you're, if you're, you know, 15 or 16, we'd love to help you out. And we've had people who partnered with other adults to do this. Um, but it, you'll need to find someone older in order to at least do. Got to be at least 18. Yeah, absolutely. Um, seeing what else is on here that we haven't covered uh from magda here's one uh asking actually how do sales get generated um you know I, cool. if you haven't at first i kind of thought like I, I that maybe it's an obvious question but 
It probably isn't. If you've never sold on Amazon, uh, mm -hmm. you probably don't realize how sales get generated. It's actually a great question, Magda. Uh, and the answer is by Amazon. Amazon has hundreds of millions of people who shop on their website each and every month. And they go out there and show your products in front of the people that they believe are looking for your products. And knowing what we know after selling for years, we know how to, I'm not going to say trick Amazon. I'm going to say give Amazon what they want. We know what Amazon looks for when they're evaluating which products to show. So for example, when people are going out there and typing in, I want some stainless steel taco holders, we know exactly what Amazon's looking for out of their maybe you know 50 or 60 stainless steel taco holders to show which one's out there to people so they can be bought. That will show you what to do. It's all part of your title, your bullet points, your description, uh, how you optimize uh, your PPC. All these things lead into how you get sales by giving Amazon exactly what they want. Uh, and by using Amazon's own built-in advertising system, you could actually have a product that didn't do all those things we just talked to you about, don't recommend it, but if you use their advertising system, they would still put your product out there to get sales anyway. Um, there's lots of ways to do it, and that's a lot about what Amazon or what ASM is all about, Magda. So Jarek's asking how to check the quality of products sourcing from China. So Jarek, inside the sourcing process, there's a couple of ways in which we do that. First off, you're always going to order a sample of that product, which is where the factory is going to send you a physical uh, product. Typically takes between four and seven days with Express Air, someone like FedEx or UPS will ship it over. And then you get to hold that product and you get to test it and put it through its all its testing. In addition to that, once we come to placing orders, we'll teach you how to use quality inspection services and quality inspection as part of that process to ensure that the, the larger order has been manufactured to the same standard. So we have complete control on quality throughout the entire supply chain sort of process. Uh, and then you build a relationship with your supplier over time uh, and you build trust within that relationship uh, and you're constantly looking to improve the, the quality of the materials and uh, within that process to continue to be developing it. But on your first product, your starter product, it's all about that product sample and then um, understanding how to use sort of inspection type services to, to inspect the quality of that. Great answer. Uh, Meg had another question too. She asked, uh, when I purchased the two or 300 units, where are those products stored? Uh, typically, they're gonna be stored at Amazon. That's the entire goal. Uh, like new sellers, like we'd mentioned one time before, they usually are allowed to send 200 units in. You'll send them straight to Amazon's warehouse. You don't have to keep them in your basement or garage, which I did starting off. You can ask my wife, true story. We had thousands of products, uh, not my first order, but after I started ordering more, we had pallets of products coming in. I didn't have a warehouse at that point in time. Uh, and so we actually had them shipped to my house. I had these wooden pallet stacks that kept building up in the backyard, caused a little bit of trouble. Uh, but once I quit my job, it made her pretty happy. Um, another thing also, uh, we also have relationships with warehouses in the United States. So if you don't live in the US, or even if you do, if you don't want to store anything above those 200 units, we have relationships with warehouses in the, US, in the US that can store those products. And then as you're able to send them back in Amazon, you send them an email, you send them these shipping forms, these PDFs are easy to generate inside of Seller Central. We show you how, uh, and then they will actually paste on the labels and hand them off to UPS and take them in. You do not have to keep anything at your own house or no matter where you live anymore. So Joanna's asking, and I'll take this one, how would a work of art work on Amazon? So I actually, it's funny because I actually was asked this by a, an artist that's got like 5 million followers on Instagram. And typically the process with Amazon for any product, whether you have an idea for a product or not, is we want to look where there's already demand for that product. So we want to see through the keyword research process and through the process of searching for products that shoppers on Amazon are already searching for that product and there's already sales happening. We're not looking to invent new products for Amazon. We're looking to serve a market with products that shoppers are already looking for. So if you had an idea for something you're interested in, something like art or something like that, you'd have to understand, well, are people searching for that style? Are people looking for this solution already on Amazon? If they're not, then it's not going to be the best channel. Um, but then you might look for the accessories within that category, like paintbrushes and all the, um, I know art brands are very successful on Amazon. There's lots of accessories within that sort of whole category. So you can definitely build out that way. And then what you're doing is you're gaining a list of, of customers 
that are interested in art and there's another source, another way of maximizing the value of that customer base because then you can start to market your art to those customers as well. So it might not be a direct sale, but you can definitely generate a seven figure business out of all the accessories that come within that category and then use that customer list to market to as well. Um, so it really depends on the existing demand and that goes, not just for art, that goes for any product that maybe you have an idea for. You have to prove the demand by just making sure that people are making sales and using that MBS retriever and, uh, and the more in-depth tools that we give you inside of ASM to make sure that revenue is being generated for those products. Awesome. Uh, R. Seidler's asking, can I find products made in Germany? Yeah, you can. Absolutely. Now, don't be wrong. They're not as easy to find as China. Uh, it's just a fact of the way the world. It's a fact of the way the world has evolved over the past 50 years. China has this powerhouse of a manufacturing system built up. Uh, I am meeting with my manufacturer Thursday night at 7 p.m. my time to kind of plan out our next year. Uh, they're in China. And I've become good friends with them. So regardless of anyone's like, you know, thoughts, political views, whatever, I can tell you this about the suppliers in China. There are people like you and I and Dan. Um, they're just average, every ordinary people. They just want to be able to, you know, have a good job, make a living, go on vacation with their kids, mm -hmm. just like everyone else that you know. And so I kind of got over that hump many years ago. And I know some people sometimes worry that, you know, something's going to happen. Uh, we can't order from China, or I personally don't want to order from China. Um, you can find products from places like Germany, from the US as well. But I would highly recommend having an open mind, thinking about looking for products from China, because you will get really great prices. And also they'll want to work with you really, really in depth to make sure you're successful. Um, it's just kind of the way it is. I don't see it ever changing, uh, at least not in the next 10, 20 years. The entire world's infrastructure is just set up where China is the manufacturing powerhouse. And for people like Dan and I and thousands of the people, that's awesome. It helps us buy products that are really affordable and we can make a great profit off of. And it helps those people over there actually making the products as well. Helps them live their lives and live their own dreams. They actually have very similar dreams as us. So I feel uh, actually pretty good about what we're doing here. Yeah, amazing. So while I'm just reading out this next one, Mike, I can see a bunch of people that have joined. Um, Veronica saying what happens if you run out of inventory? So Veronica, running out of inventory is inevitable, especially when you get going. Um, and it really depends on how much inventory you order and how many units you buy up front, etc. But all that happens is we sort of we close the listing. So we tell Amazon we no longer want to sell this product at the moment because we don't have the inventory and Amazon stops showing that once we then place a new order for inventory. So we place a second order or third order. And that order lands at Amazon and Amazon process it and puts it into the warehouse. We then reactivate that listing. And we go through what we call a relaunch, which is a much smaller condensed version of the launch process. Sometimes you don't even need to do it, to be honest. Um, and we just sort of make sure that we get those sales back up to the same position. So that's something we cover inside of ASM. Um, yes, you will have, run out of inventory. It's inevitable within this business. Business. Inventory management is a big part of the business, um, but we simply go through some very simple marketing activities uh, to regain that visibility um, and regain that sales volume. Um, but it, it's really nowadays, it's, it's quite providing that you follow the steps that we teach. Um, it doesn't really impact you too much. Um, we may just need to do an extra bit of paid advertising for a week or so just to regain that position. Um, but you simply close the listing, reactivate the listing and continue selling on. Awesome. Uh, Arshad asked another question. Uh, we mentioned, you know, just an hour a day, the whole thing about consistency would take 50 days to go through the training. Is that what people do? Yeah, kind of what they do. Uh, yeah. The training's actually right now in nine modules. Uh, we say eight normally, but we had an extra one on this time around because it has lots of great, awesome additional stuff. Uh, but that we, every module opens up every single week. And so that way you have time to go through all the lessons in that module. Uh, I'd say most people go through the training in about 60 to 90 days. Um, and again, it doesn't mean that you're done, your business is launching, you're making millions. And that we're trying to say here, it means that you'll have all the training and you should have have your product ordered and it should be on its way. And then you're ready to go as soon as it arrives, so you can get ready to launch. There's tons of steps that Dan specifically goes through preparing for your launch. So there's never a wasted moment. Uh, there'll be time that your product has to be manufactured. There'll be time that your product is being shipped to Amazon. And then a few days while Amazon's checking in and getting it ready, 
all that time is plenty of time to review the training and plan out your launch so that you can take advantage of all the tools and all the tactics you'll be learning inside of ASM. Kayla's got a good one here. Are there still a lot of products we can sell? Is the market already saturated? Kayla, in Q4 of 2020, my team launched 133 products. So to give you scope of kind of, is, it, is there still opportunity on Amazon? There is bucket loads of opportunity. And the great thing about Amazon with the increased um, sort of demand for online shopping, there are more buyers joining Amazon than there ever are gonna be enough sellers to fulfill. Um, buyers continue to outgrow the number of sellers on Amazon and the demand, especially right now, continues to increase. Um, with, as Mike said in the beginning, 10 years of e-commerce growth in just a year as a result of everything we've been through. And Amazon was growing massively anyway, um, let alone what's happened in this last sort of 12-month period. Um, so absolutely, there's opportunity all over the place. And the great thing about the world we live in is we live in a fluid market where new things are constantly emerging. Um, so it's not that there's a set of products in the world and these are only going to be the only products that are ever available in the world. There's constantly new products being innovated, created, demand created as social media influences the way people think and TV shows and someone might say something. New products are emerging daily. Um, so there's constantly new opportunity. There's so much buying activity. There's thousands of categories, millions of products um, that there are so many product opportunities. And when you implement the strategies and the tactics that we teach in how to find certain keywords and how to run advertising, um, the opportunity is infinite. Yeah, you know, we are now two and a half hours into this. Um, I know it is yeah. 2.37 a.m. in the morning for Dan where he's at. Um, I know we're over there our time, is. so I want to apologize. We just we want to answer as many questions as possible. We still have nearly a hundred questions in here. I know we we won't be able to get to those, uh, but what I want to do, uh, we're going to be able to close things down here in about five ten minutes. So if you do want to take advantage of this offer, we have a few, a very few spots left open for the one on one coaching call with Dan and I. Be sure to go to asmnow.com/habit. Um, so you want to get there before probably only three to four spots left open. So be sure to get that if you want to take advantage of that. Um, this offer, the up, the rest of the offer still open, of course, until I believe Thursday is when we're making this available for. So you're not rushed if you need to talk to someone, totally fine. Um, also, uh, before we get to the, the free bonus as well, I want to ask one more question for anyone on the call right now. If you are on the fence about joining, you just need something that this is the type of question that if you answer this question, I'll be able to decide, ask that question right now, what is it? Um, if it's a matter of money, we know that's always a sticking point. Don't get me wrong. Like this is an investment in your future. Um, you know, I'm looking at, you know, 50, $60,000 in college expenses coming up in the next year or so for kids. So I know what it's like to make investments uh, in education and training. So if that's the, the question, feel free to put it in there. But if there's something else holding you up, like, What's the one question you really want to see Dan or I answer in order to make the decision? Put it into the questions and Dan and I will try to get to that. Now, while you're typing that, Dan, do you want to share the bonus link with everyone for your Hot 20 yes, products? Absolutely, guys. So if you go to asmnow.com forward slash hot 2021, that's correct, isn't it? asmnow.com forward slash hot 2021. That should go ahead and open up the list of the hot 20 product opportunities for 2021, which is the live attendance bonus for all of you guys that, and girls that have stuck around to the end and, and really taken this seriously and, and taken this, uh, this valuable information on board. So well done to you, asmnow.com forward slash hot 2021. Awesome. All right. Uh, so let's see. A uh, couple questions came in. Uh, Jer and these are questions probably that for people who want, need to know this, Jerk asking who takes care of customs. So this is customs and duties. It's the normal tax you have to pay on importing products. When you're importing products from one country to another, there's always some type of customs or fees. The way that we recommend you do it, and we will give you a list to be able to do this, is use a freight forwarder. So um, I, you know, I've been importing products now for eight years or so, and I know nothing about importing products. What I do know is the value of having a freight forwarder. I found one 
that lives, I, I, their name is Ram International. They're in our private resource vault, uh, along with about another half dozen great freight forwarders. I just, I know them personally. Uh, but what they do is they actually figure out all the customs and duties. So when the products are being imported and they get to the port inside of US, then they'll do all the paperwork and calculate everything and let you know what those are. You'll know actually ahead of time as well. You ask them what it's going to be. They'll tell you what it is. You can plan accordingly, but they do all the paperwork. All I do is just pay for my shipping, which already includes the customs and duties in it. So you don't have to worry about that. They will take care of that. And then Catherine is asking a very, very valid question. I have two questions. I've never sold anything online for or done anything like this before. Inside the ASM, are we assigned mentors or can we talk to everyone? And is there someone to help with bookkeeping and tax help? So yes, you can talk to your fellow students and the mentors inside of the private uh, community and you have access to 35,000 members, our 21 mentors, myself, uh, Mike, Rich, Matt, um, available there to sort of help you within the community. You also get the um, success coaching with the weekly check-ins as well, which is an actual a conversation, a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Um, now, as for the bookkeeping and tax, um, we obviously are not allowed to offer tax advice. We're not tax professionals. However, there are lots of um, bookkeeping and tax professionals who are more than familiar with an e-commerce business and specifically Amazon sellers. Um, there are now accountancy firms and bookkeeping and tax professionals that specialize in, in the Amazon business and dealing with Amazon. Uh, and all of that is, is ready available and we can, we can definitely point you in the right direction there. So um, yes, you get access to the community, to mentors and get access to all that help. Um, and then there are definitely resources available um, within the industry to help you with that bookkeeping and tax advice. And really working with a professional there, it's very inexpensive and there are professionals that really sort of understand the Amazon, the Amazon seller business. Uh, one more of a comment here. Anna saying, thanks so very much for the training. I'm actually a member of ASM. That's awesome. Uh, and I still found this training to be beneficial. I love that. Uh, Dan, kudos to you. Uh, we do try to always add something new in for these, these webinars and training sessions. So Anna, so glad you got out there out of it. Um, and get back to work on ASM. We want to see you build your business. Uh, so also one more question I'll take from Mike A. What do you think about China providing a China provider or shipping company to give DDP? You know, DDP is a great way. Dan opened my eyes to this in the past year. Um, it's a type of shipping, by the way. So there's other ways that you can actually calculate shipping. Some, your supplier is only responsible for getting the product to the port in China, and that's the price they give you. Or your supplier can actually give you a quote for getting it all the way imported to the U.S., both are valid options. So if you want to get a DDP quote, I know a lot of people are going that route. It makes it a lot simpler. And we cover that in the training as well, Mike. So the answer is, yeah, you can definitely do that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's see. From Nikki, when are you going to have another training session like this? We don't have another one scheduled right now. I'm sure. I mean, again, I'm sure we'll have them again. We enjoy doing this. This is a great way. Like, we're always open. This is a way for Amazing to make people aware of everything we have to offer. We give as good as possible a free training to open people up to the possibility of creating your brand and business. Uh, we have known people who've taken what we have what we've given just on these webinars and start their own businesses. And then we also wanna make sure you're aware of the other programs we have available, like Amazing Selling Machine, which makes it so much easier and so much faster. So I'm certain we will do some in the future, uh, but I don't know of any specific date. We don't have it scheduled yet. I do know that Dan and I will be speaking at what's called SellerCon next week. I'll be live and in person in LA. He'll be virtual and remote from Dubai. Um, that's a one year annual event that we do um, that has training on all different kinds of stuff, but it won't be exactly the same as this. Uh, any other questions you're seeing, Dan? I think we're good. We've definitely had a couple extra people join there. Um, yes, I believe you're part of the 20. Um, Mike might be able to confirm there in the background. Uh, but welcome to, welcome to all our new members. Welcome to the people that have taken action, you guys that have taken quick action. And remember, for everyone else, um, if you're on the fence, or well, maybe you've got to have a conversation with people, that's totally fine. Um, there's a couple of days there, but if you want to get one of those 20 spots, you should definitely dive in. Um, and I think, as for the questions, Mike, I think we're, we've covered pretty much everything. But the stuff I'm seeing now is more recurring type stuff, more repeat questions. Um, and Mike A says, you guys are all great. <laughs> so that's really good feedback. You know, I think that's the perfect comment to end it on, don't you?
Yeah, me too. Um, I do want to say a couple of things. I'll let Dan close uh, close out, but I'll, I'll just say goodbye for me. Thanks everyone for joining these webinars. We love doing these training workshops. As you can tell, Dan would not be up until nearly three in the morning doing these if he didn't enjoy doing them. Yes, we do also make a living doing this, but we also make a living doing exactly what we teach you. We both have multiple brands and businesses that we operate and run. Uh, we love doing it. We want to share with as many people as possible. And it's my hope to see as many people as possible who are on this webinar inside of ASM. So if you want to join now, be sure to go to asmnow.com slash habit. And if you join late, you want to watch the replay, look for an email tomorrow. We will send that out shortly. Thank you all for joining and I will turn it over to Dan. Thanks, Mike. And thank you to everyone for taking the time out of your day and investing in yourself. Um, even if you were to go ahead and implement everything we've shown you on this training here today, you'd be on the first step towards success. And if you really want to be serious about changing your future, creating that freedom of choice, and really de determining what that looks like for you, your loved ones, then come join us inside of ASM at asmnow.com forward slash habit. Take advantage of that $1,000 saving, put it towards the inventory, take advantage of the risk-free 2021 success agreement, build the business, let us take the risk, just follow the system. And remember, you do have that 30 day 100% money back guarantee. Uh, this is going to be open for the next couple of days, as I said, until Thursday the 21st. If you're catching this on the replay, make sure you're aware of that time. Um, and to everyone who joined, I just had some names sent through. So Thomas, Brittany, Jeffrey, Tara, Dang, Elaine, Lisa, Farah, and Veronica, welcome to ASM. I can't wait to see you start on your journey. But for me, Dan Ashburn, I look forward to seeing you again soon on another training that we host here at Amazing. See you soon. All right. Take care, everyone.